Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with War of the Chosen. Uh, once it finishes loading. I was just hastily throwing in the mod command again. Or updating it, rather. I couldn't actually fit all of the, uh, mods that I'm using in a command. However, if I leave out the ones that are prerequisites for War of, uh, Long War of the Chosen, it's... It works okay. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Uh, once I find it, there it is. Stream save. And I believe we were up to the network tower. With nothing but conventional weapons and a couple of mutons have shown up. I don't like it, but if I wait and wait and wait until we're better prepared, that has its own problems. Um, there's nothing for it. We have to go in sooner rather than later, more or less. Uh, I believe after the network tower, it's uh, like the, the big invasion mission is all we've got left to... Uh, to liberate a region. We do have laser weapons in five hours. Supply drop in four hours. Um, so at least we'll have those for the next mission. Positive confirmation on an emergency signal coming from the site of our most recent covert action. Our team was ambushed and needs an evac. Firebrand is already en route. Oh. Well then. Uh, I guess we're going in. For sector six, Eastern and we probably can't get those laser weapons. Well, we we could only get one laser rifle, since we wouldn't have time to pick up the supplies. Uh, let me remind myself who we're picking up here. So it's, uh, I am the sky, tumbling satellite, and... Rodriguez need to escape. Uh, we get some alien loot if we're successful. That could be anything from really, really good to pretty bad. Not Steel Mage. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for the luck. Cheers. Um, Alright, so we're going to have to gear this up straight away. Um... I don't... It doesn't actually say, like, normally these missions have a timer. Like, you can you can actually see it with, uh, with the other quick response missions, but as it is... Hmm. Oh, that's the network tower. That's actually going to be a minute uh, before it's ready to go. Okay. Well... I was looking at whatever this mission was and thinking maybe if I boost it, we get some of our best soldiers back. Um, but all we really need for this mission... Probably... Is four good campers. To hold the, uh, the evac. While the rest of them run to us. Uh, so we got midden... With swords, uh, not quite up to Bladestorm yet. Aim is so-so. 24 points we've got to spend, though. I could give Midden a guaranteed hit with Hail of Bullets, but I'm only going to give... I'm probably only going to give an SMG uh, to Midden, so he's got better movement. Um, maybe later on we could do some heavier weapon, but... Uh, when we've got conventional weapons, I'm not I'm not gonna bother giving him a shotgun just for that guaranteed damage. Uh that said. Hmm, maybe I should spend some points and give Midden combat fitness already. Four aim, one mobility, two hit points, dodge and will. That's a 
pretty decent upgrade, especially when your max hit points is only four to start with. Okay, we're 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 giving Midden an up an upgrade. That is going to increase his 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 hit points are going up by fifty percent because we don't have any good armor to give him yet. Not counting the ablative armor he'll be taking. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so now our sword person has 16 mobility, almost 80 aim, 6 health, 18 dodge. That's actually pretty good. Um, you're also going to be our stealth scout, at least at first. Um, there's really only... There's literally only one choice for sharpshooter. Uh, unless we want to go with... I could bring Morpheus out. Lance Corporal. Um, Morpheus's aim is pretty good, but at this rank, it's not going to make that much of a difference. Unless I want to go with um, double sharpshooter. Uh, we're definitely taking Sloder, one of our two good uh, rangers. And we could either have a gunner. It's only a squaddy. Camille Durand. A squaddy, but with good aim. Uh, 69 is decent for a squaddy. Uh, otherwise, I could pull someone out of the haven for a grenadier. Um, our grenadiers aren't that good yet, are they? No, Sergeant. I could maybe take an assault. We'd have a stun. Yatuwatu. And if it misses, it'll... Oh, you have Slugshot. Fascinating. I could give you a free flashbang while we're at it. But you don't have the guaranteed disorient... From a missed electroshock. I kind of don't like that, but if you have a free disorient from Flashbanger, that's actually pretty good. But Assault, for when we're camping, not as good. Then again, you do get armor piercing from this. And what are my other options right now? A squatty gunner. Um, I think we'll take Yatuwatu. Uh, give him a laser sight. I've got an elite hair trigger for someone. Do I, do I not have any stocks? Uh, I mean, I didn't mean stocks, but yes, we do. Uh, scopes. We have zero scopes. Okay, stock is as good as it's going to get for starters. Uh, maybe a pistol would be good as well. Do you have any points to spare? 14. We're trying to get you cool under pressure, though. Oh, wow. Cool under pressure, shredder, and avenger, if we give you lots and lots of points. It's pretty expensive, though. Uh, or I could give you some pistol skills right now, including a guaranteed hit. I really do like having that one guaranteed hit. Uh, so let's give Stardust a pistol. Do we have a personal combat sim for you yet? We do not. Uh, what do we got? Plus 10 aim after you miss. Garbage. Uh, will and will. So pretty much nothing. Um... I wanted to get low profile before deep cover. I mean, I could right now, I'd just have to dip into the common pool. Uh, deep cover, automatically hunker, if you don't fire on your turn, includes Overwatch, which is pretty damn powerful. Although you've already got the um, 
combat awareness, so I'm not too worried about you getting clapped. You'll be well defended already. Um, I might even go for another flashbanger. Having options without paying the price of taking uh, extra equipment is rather good. Okay. I think this is our squad. We got Ranger, uh, Assault, Sniper, and Midden with a sword. Let's a go. Wait, what? That's the wrong button. Let's a go. These missions can vary pretty wildly in how difficult and dangerous they are. Uh, most of the time it's almost a gimme, but occasionally you might even have the people being ambushed start right next to a heavy mech on Overwatch. What do we got? You've got no time Wilderness. I should have read the, uh, location from the description to start with. These are really bad. Oh no. Oh no. Rip stealth. We don't have a scout on that end. Uh, these maps are terrible for this mission. Uh, this isn't necessarily exactly the scenario that I'm thinking of, but often when you start in the wilderness in this corner here, or something similar to it, there's enemies like right here or right here, and you could literally take a step and get spotted by them. Um, hence we bring a scout. Um, considering... Well, let's have a look at where our escapees need uh, escapees need to go. Um, probably best if they go straight in and kill these guys. 91%, it's a little risky. It's actually like, if we discount the greys, it's maybe 80% to kill this guy outright. Uh, but even a min-roll without a greys would kill him. Uh, we do have Tumbling with the Flamethrower for an almost guaranteed kill here. If it doesn't kill outright, it's, I think, 75% to set him on fire. If it doesn't set him on fire, there's a good chance it'll panic him. If it panics him, there's a good chance he'll get set on fire next turn. Uh, maybe I should use that on... Uh, the Rocketeer, actually. That makes a lot more sense. So we can kill this guy much more easily. So let's get tumbling up here. Probably not find any more enemies. And... Greet him. Fantastic. That's two turns of one to three damage as well, because he's burning. He's already dead. Uh, since we don't have stealth on I Am The Sky, we may as well try... Sword. Fantastic. And the last thing I'm going to do here... Um, we'll probably go this way. Uh, like counterclockwise from this direction to get to the evac. And I don't necessarily want to find... I, I definitely don't want to find more enemies this turn. But I want to put Rodriguez where... He might get a shot with Overwatch. But don't be too risky looking for an activation. No, I'll, I'll play it safe. I'll put Rodriguez here on Overwatch. Okay, so, in that case we want to go this way with our stealth. 
if I creep up here, we should see this. Uh, yep, there they are. Now, how far could our other soldiers have walked without getting spotted? Pretty far this time. Because of this big rock. Um, we're not going to get Stardust to have height advantage yet, which is very unfortunate. Um, we definitely want... What are we up against? A trooper? Is that a... Is that a tier 2 trooper already? Advent trooper, advanced trooper. It is too. 70 aim and double the hit points. And like... Well, practically double the damage as well. And it can throw a grenade. And that's to say nothing of the mech, but... The mech, while dangerous, is at least pretty easy to hit. Um, I've got Ever Vigilant on Sloder, so we can put him on Overwatch wherever he can run to at the end of the turn. Um, and that's with Pool Under Pressure, Extra Overwatch Aim, and it can crit. I definitely want Yatu Watu pretty close to this mech. Got two tools for killing the armor with Yatu. Who's your teammate? It is Sloda. Your bondmate, that is. Um Stardust. I really don't don't have a very good place for you. Then again, uh this is one of the reasons we bring a pistol. So we don't get a sharpshooter just stuck doing nothing. I don't think we're ever going to get like a flank shot with um, Stardust if we go back this way. I think we just move up and pistol Overwatch. And for Sloder, get as close as possible without being seen. Midden, Overwatch. Uh... Yeah, to Overwatch. Overwatch. Rocketeers are dead. They're walking right into... Is this even going to activate? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, to taking off like a quarter from the mech. Please reveal... Yes. Because I want this Overwatch shot, even if it's only going to be one damage. And we didn't get any Overwatch shot from Sloder. That's very, very unfortunate. But what's not unfortunate is we can park Sloder right next to this advanced trooper and one-shot him uh, with both barrels. That should be 100%. Um, we can pretty much execute... Well, actually, no, the damage is a bit random. Uh, if I use Slugshot on the mech... At point blank, it should be a guaranteed kill. On your order. Let's do that. Since it pierces armor. Fantastic. I don't think we've got officer skills on midden, so unfortunately we can't command. Got another shotgun shot. But this should be fine. Fantastic. And Sloder. If you please. Let's see how much damage it'll be. I think it's minimum... Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. Could be a lot worse, but that's not great. We got a 35% from Stardust against the heavy cover on the Sectoid. And I think it was... Was it double Sectoid Snake? Or I think it was double Snake. They're not the super specialized snakes, so they're not as scary as the speedy flanky snakes or the snipey snakes. But not great regardless. A hey, Dilka, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, pretty decent chance to not kill him if I use point blank. We're going to use both barrels. 
and uh, Sloda doesn't actually have cover if he gets seen, so let's hope they don't find him. And that leaves only one, one soldier over here. Um, Yatu Watu is going to be flanked if they come close enough, but I don't think they're going to. Especially if I move Stardust. There's a really... There's a small chance we're going to activate something over here, but I think this is still correct. Uh, I don't want to park everyone next to each other. They could they could maybe get close enough to spit poison AoE. So we're going to move Stardust back here. And Steady Weapon for that aim bonus next turn. Uh, now then. I'd say it's pretty unlikely we're going to find anything else in this general direction. We've already had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 enemies this way. I think there might be a squad of enemies over this way somewhere, but we'll hopefully never meet them. Evil Plow, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So now the conundrum is I want to dash this way as fast as I can. But if we go up close enough to see the sectoid and the snakes, um, they might turn around and attack these guys, which isn't that bad, except, like, no one at the evac is going to be able to reach them to fight them next turn. So I think... I think we try something like this. That's looking pretty good. Other two aren't going to have so much mobility. I wish I knew exactly how close we could get. I can hear the snakes. I think Tumbling Satellite can come over here and not get spotted. Or at least not have line of sight to them. Oh. I think that was out of range. Actually, that was one of those little glitches where they're rendering it when we shouldn't actually be able to see them. Uh, I could bring Rodriguez up here, but I think... Well, Rodriguez is pretty tanky, but Rodriguez is also not our best gunner by any stretch of the imagination with that aim. Yeah, I remember now. I, I was... I was making Rodriguez a tank. Uh, so that said, I don't think I'm too worried if they can see Rodriguez. But they can't. Oh, they did come back. I think the sect sectoid's going to be in flesh range for Eye in the Sky. Snake is coming. Snake is probably going to spit. Yep. And other snake comes this way. That's a flank shot on Yantu. Uh, that probably would have been instant death without the armor. Yep. Nasty. Um, I can get Yatu Watu out and do something useful this turn. So we're going to do that. Let's run and gun over to the closest tile. I think it'll be the same if I go here or here because of step out. Maybe there's something else over this way, so let's not go maximally close. And we got a 30% shotgun, 45% stun. We don't have the perk where if it misses it does something. So I think I'll probably just throw a flashbang. Um, but that said, I really don't have to make that decision right now. Stardust Nebula only has one shot with the sniper rifle. I could use the pistol, I could guarantee a hit with the pistol, one to three damage. Um, we could try for a lucky hit with the shotgun before we make a decision. 
Alternatively, we could try for a less lucky hit with the sniper rifle. Uh, we should be able to kill the snake with a flash, but we might also want to get the sectoid. Probably not, because we'll be out in the open. It is a guaranteed kill, though. But we have a flash from I Am The Sky. Uh, odds to hit are not that great. But as long as we don't graze... We've actually got like an 80 to 90% chance to kill Sectoid here. May as well take it. We're not going to have a better turn with I Am The Sky. Perfect. Tumbling is no longer panicked, but is poisoned, but... Wait, what? I thought tumbling was poisoned. Oh, is he immune to poison? Did I give him... I think I gave him uh, the hazmat suit. Cool, so we can just... Yep, immune, fantastic. Uh, we can just burn snake. Probably deal with it in one shot. Or at least control it. Nope. Yes. That second roll. Panic if not fire. Helps a lot. Um, I think we won't bother taking a shot this turn with Rodriguez. Especially with that reduced mobility. Negative five for being poisoned. Ouch. Let's just get you out of there. Um, I think the poison only lasts two turns, so we're probably get, not going to get a wound on Rodriguez. Uh, and that just leaves the snack, which we can likely kill with a flesh, but we'll be exposed if there's anything out there. Um, so I think we'll take a few random shots at snack. And hope that the dice fall in our favor. Do we get Executioner on Sloter? We do not, so there's no reason to wait till someone else shoots it. That's a miss. Yeah, come on. We try with Stardust. Hold up. What are the odds we damage but don't kill Snake? We could Mineral. There's a decent chance of that. And if that happens, I want the guaranteed pistol shot from Stardust. So we're going to risk the activation over here. Three? Did okay, that's pretty bad. Um, I don't think I want to disorient, because what the snake will, will pretty much always do here is wrap itself around um, uh, mid-im. Even though, even though there's no other units to help it. Um, so I think we'll just try... Can I flank it? I can. Let's just do a flank pistol shot. Since we're pretty sure there's nothing out here now. I'm not going to waste a clutch shot on a 79%. And why don't... Uh, I don't think Disorient is going to accomplish anything here. It might even prevent it from doing the move that we're least scared of. So we're just going to try a random 30%. And it's a gone. Good job, Yatuwatu. 30% through the red fog. Alright, let's get you out of here. And that's the turn. Still poisoned? I don't think we have any medkits, so it looks like Rodriguez is getting a wound. I don't think the snake is actually on fire yet, so we might want to do something about it. Tumbling is fireproof because... wait, tumbling is not fireproof. How is tumbling poison immune? Oh, he's got medkit. Fantastic, we can avoid a wound here. Um, I think if we heal Pancake, Pancake is going to gain 5 mobility. 
could step out here and stab Sneak. Might end up on fire after that, though. I think instead... We'll move Pancake over here. Heal. We gain, like, 15 aim. And we probably execute Snake. Fantastic. Uh, now I want that loot. Without risking someone being on fire, so don't leave them standing there. And let's get going. I think we're good now. Let's get everyone back this way. Let's do this. Running. And we should get out of here with one severe car. wound and nothing else. Uh, we can't actually get out this turn. Probably should have put those people on Overwatch. But it should be fine. Let's do an Overwatch shot with steady aim. With Stardust. That'll likely be a hit. Anyone else? We're good. In this situation, that's actually good if we hear them all yelling that they're flanked. It probably means the enemy are dropping in really close, and we'll kill them with the Overwatch. I think that's a sergeant. Nice hit. And I th we can probably finish it off with a clutch shot. Why can't you see him? Okay. Uh, tumbling... Could probably use Roust on this guy. One to three damage. I don't think Fire cares about armor. Let's try it. Never mind. Uh, tumbling, get out of here. We're not going to slicey dice. Uh, we could take a couple of low aim shots at this guy. I'm on it. Uh, can we see? Yes, we can. We can clutch shot the sergeant. How many That's a nice enemy? little chunk of XP for Stardust. And we spam bullets. Oh, wow. That was improbable. Nice shot, I am the sky. Max roll through high cover at long range with an SMG. It in. And it's a done. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the end. No promotions, at least not out of these four. 34 days for Yatu. That is a while. We got a suppressor, three cores, and a speed boost. That's decent. Getting thin on manpower. Shut up, Central. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. While I recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We technically lost at least one mission, so nothing short of a massive improvement will do. Nothing short of a fast improvement will do. We've got so little intel. But if I get offered the chance to stop this event, and it's kind of sketchy, um, I really want to know whether it's worth the risk. Major breakthrough. That's kind of important. 
that basically runs out the clock. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up. All right, we got some XP. Do we have any? If we switch up our tactics, no promotions. We should try something new. Bruh. Okay, who's gonna do our next covert action? What do we got? Fabricate uh, superior PCS supplies. We're probably doing supplies. We really need to actually get something out of our um, laser weapon research. A resistance mech is very good as well. We'll probably do that next. And... Two rebels for seven days? That seems like complete garbage to me. Uh, gain ability points I definitely want to do at some point. Steel corpses, yeah, most, there's a lot that I want to do here, but we won't have time to do it all. Um, need a staff sergeant for a new faction hero. I think we go for the supplies. And we can actually use the supplies to upgrade... A hundred? I thought it was cheaper than that. Um, if we have a spare engineer, we can make the covert missions shorter, which is going to pay up. It's going to pay off a lot in the long run. Okay. Gather supplies. How about... Um... We could go sheep say meh again. Oh wait, it was I am the sky last time. I am the sky has good dodge. I'll just double check uh, the skills of our shinobis. We got lone wolf. That's good actually. Oh, we're going to go for a for a flanky shooter on I Am The Sky. That seems like all the more reason to put you into a covert action. Um, and then... Relatively low ranked. Failure chance is still pretty high. Um, tumbling again? Worked pretty well last time. Failure is only 14%. You can get it down to zero usually with your higher ranked soldiers, but take a little risk we'll this time. Alright, laser weapons in four hours. Um, are we... I don't even have the ability to train officers yet. We really, really need those supplies. 11 days until we get 48. Um, I can go here to make that building happen faster. Where's our other HQ? We got a whopping 59 supplies to pick up. Oh, that's our only HQ so far? No, it can't be. We've got... Skirmishes and Reapers. There's the Reaper HQ. Well, we can't... We don't have the option to heal our soldiers faster just yet, so that makes the decision a bit easier. And... Laser weapons finished. Bit more damage and almost more importantly at this stage, plus five aim on all laser weapons. We've got inspired advanced laser weapons. Eight days. Do it. Doesn't even cost any supplies. At least not yet. Alright, I want to check the black market. Avenger plotting new course. 
Gonna have a lot more supplies in a month, but right now, it's a problem. Uh, I don't see any named characters. I don't really want to pay 50, like almost all of our supplies for an assault. I kind of want depth perception though. It's incredibly good value. Plus 5 aim and removes 25 dodge uh, if you have height advantage. Perfect for sharpshooters. What can we sell? 38 supplies for Illyrium cores. Um, that's actually pretty good. Ten for an autoloader is good as well, but I don't think we have, like, spares. An autoloader is probably the strongest, uh, out of the basic weapon accessories. But I think we'll sell, like, half of our cores... I normally wouldn't... 38 each, and we're in dire straits for supplies, though. This is actually kind of a godsend. We could sell the data pads that we don't have time to crack open for intel yet, but we don't have that much intel either. Do we have any garbage PCS? Superior Psy. Ugh. Oh. That's kind of good, but like, it's going to be a while before we can use it. So I think we'll just sell it so that we actually make it that far through the game. Regular laser sights do almost nothing. 5% crit, that's it. Hyperreactive peoples are pretty bad. Um... I've pretty much never... I've almost never bothered putting focus on someone. And I think that's about it. 211 supplies. That's... that's much better. Is it worth buying, like, an engineer? That's like half of our supplies right now. How many engineers do we have? I know we've got uh, three here. Do we have any in... Haven Advisors? We do not. Mm -mm. And I think I do want to buy the upgrade for the Resistance Ring. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Yes, I, I know. Thank you. Um, who's this? We're not going to bond a rookie. I think instead of buying another engineer at this point, I'm just going to put second engineer into the resistance ring. That'll get our supply run COVID op done in four more days. Um, and we're going to get more throughput out of COVID actions much sooner. It's definitely going to pay for itself. I do want to keep some supplies handy for buying laser weapons, though. 89% on Network Tower. We definitely want to over-infiltrate it. It's going to be a tough mission. Especially with nothing but conventional weapons. We do have, like, approximately our five best soldiers there, though. Um, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully it won't be a squad wipe. Are we looking for missions right now? I think so. We've got... A few people ready to go. So let's see. Supply. Supply. Hiding. Oh yeah, because we oh we actually did get the advent strength down here. 
Um, because we want that strength minimized when... when we do the network tower. Maybe it would be worth just going for it, or boosting it. If we boost it, we've got, like, no intel left. I think we'll switch this one to supply. Uh, to intel, rather. Free strength. You know what? We're switching everyone to intel. Uh, at least until we find a mission for our spare soldiers. And what happens next? 100%, but I don't want to go in at up to 15 enemies. This mission can be pretty dicey. So we scan. 126%, that is still light. Uh, might have to go to 150. Zero days, eight hours, we're not doing that. And I don't think I'd want to do sabotage, get Advent's attention at this point, regardless. Um, extremely light, though. If we'd found it sooner, that would have been a really good training mission, if we wanted to. Uh, supply run is a finished. Fantastic. I think... Resistance mechs are extremely useful in Long War of the Chosen because in the scenarios where the Chosen show up, they spawn right next to your squishy little resistance members and start executing them. Having the mech there to at least take a couple of hits is kind of good. And I really want the ability points and corpses as well. We've probably got time now, since I upgraded the facility. Um, so I think we'll go our highest ranked soldiers for this. 0% failure, Midden and Sloda should be able to handle themselves. I'll give you our first laser rifle. Um... And probably some equipment to go with it, some accessories. Uh, but we don't even have a scope or anything. You've got ever vigilant, cool under pressure, so we'll give you our one laser sight and a hair trigger. I don't want to put the elite hair trigger in when we're probably not even going to see combat here. And the suppressor reduces infiltration times for other missions. 80 aim on midden. Um, how much... how many supplies do we have? Hey, Commander. 175. I think it's probably worth giving our first laser sten gun. Just in case. Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time in a long time, we're actually upgraded laser SMG. Now we just have to make Hits slightly harder than a than an assault rifle. My father didn't and so plus five aim as well. Test subjects for the aliens to toy with. We just have to get the people's attention. Okay. So resistance mech, midden, and slowder. Get on it. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. And how are we looking here? Still light? Guess it has to go to like 150%. Oh, good. Good. Stun lances and other enemies gain cutthroat. Melee attacks ignore armor. Nice. Zetius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Name and character pool? Sure, we'll get right on that. Destroy relay, one day, six hours. Not gonna happen. Uh, it still says light for the network tower. Not a fan of that. 
Uh, as for available characters, um, we've got a gunner with pretty good aim for a squatty, slightly low mobility, excellent dodge, good health, eventually lightning slash, ever vigilant, deep cover. This one's going to be good if we can level, level it up. Let's go. Uh, so just Zetius. Any preferences for appearance or anything? Just let me know. Massive potential on that gunner. It still says light. Does it not get better than light for the network tower? Have we been wasting time? I think it can get lighter. Very light. Okay, I think we're going to 200%. I do not want... I, I really want to minimize the risk for this one. They're going in with conventional weapons, and we've seen mutons. Of course, every moment that we don't do it also increases the odds of tougher enemies. Just because time passing. But overall, this is better. 180%, very light, we completed our research advanced laser weapons, fantastic, uh, so we got laser sniper rifles, laser shotgun, laser cannon, we get a free laser cannon as well, well, free. The only autopsy we've got left is faceless, uh, I think we'll Get the intel out of these things first. The data pads. And at this rate, we're gonna potentially have another ambush before the network tower. Here we go. One hour left. It still says very light. We wasted our time there. Well, this is as good as it's gonna get. Uh, Jacobek, Dope Dog, Larius. Larius is one of our easily one of our strongest. Reapers can be really OP, unless they get terrible stats. Uh, Buvim and Rorosaur. For not the hardest mission in the game, but potentially it can be extremely dangerous. Commander, this will be a two-pronged assault. First, we hack the heart of the Advent Tower and disrupt their network but we'll have to move fast. If we can seize control That's where he that stops data, talking. Shen's cooking up a little surprise for them that should more than get their attention. Lock it down, secure the surrounding area, and remove okay. all enemy security forces guarding the target. All goes well, they won't even see us coming. If all goes well, we can't actually... Shut up, Central. You, you, you literally just told us that. Um, I can't actually get through here without smashing a window. So right off the bat, we have no choice as to which way we're going to approach this. There's a drone over there that we shouldn't have been able to see. Um, these things, these dropships, are not necessarily so great for sneaking past either. But I don't think there can be any enemies close enough just yet. Oh, that wasn't a drone, actually. A trooper of some kind over here. Something with armor and six hit points, I think it was. Agreed distance. Yep. Looks like a. It's not a gunner, is it? If it's got six hit points and one armor, I would think it's a stun lancer or something. Maybe a rocketeer. Uh, and Jacobek probably just get slightly closer. 
So we've got up to 12 enemies, not counting reinforcements. That is indeed a Rocketeer. Rocketeer, Sergeant, uh, Tier 1 Sentry. It's not too bad. We need to get to the hacky hack thing way back this way. Um, if we do that while there are still enemies up, which we most likely will be doing, uh, it'll actually stun them for, I think it's two turns. I'm a little scared of what might be over here somewhere. And I do at least have one soldier who can regain stealth, at least for a couple of turns at a time. Dope Dog is not good at taking shots, so we'll use him to scout this way. And probably there's nothing over here. Uh, getting Buvim closer would not be the worst idea. I forgot we do have one person with a grappling hook. Could have gone up this way, but uh, I don't want him separate from everyone else at this stage. Question is who I want to put in this little corner. And I think it's got to be Rorosaur with the flamethrower. Uh, there's a chance in a few turns can set all three of them on fire, almost definitely killing the sentry outright. Uh, so, so we have line of sight through this whole thing, right? There's no way there's enemies hiding inside it, R right? Okay, looks like we're good. Um, move him, should probably... I'd go over here, except something could come this way. We'll just put Buvim for here for now. And Alarius, move up slightly and steady weapon. On the off chance we need you to take a shot. Uh, we got... Three tier ones. Okay, this web this mission is looking less scary than I thought. That's not a Rocketeer, it's a Flamer, which is both way less and way more scary at the same time. We can't afford to give a Rocketeer a single action, uh, especially if we're bunched up. But a Flamer... There's not much to do defending against a Flamer except stay out of range. All right, so we have six enemies here. That is at least half the map. And I think we're not we're very unlikely to be able to ambush them both at the same time. I will move. I definitely like to get closer to the hacky hack. What's the line of sight like here? Um, technically, if I put Jakubek here, something over here could spot him, but it seems unlikely. It could be on the roof. I don't think I should risk it. Where's Rorosaur? Is the Flamer immune to fire? I think I remember trying to check for this, and it didn't say they were immune, and it turned out they were. So let's not try too hard to get a flamethrower ambush. Let's get some line of sight in here. Looks okay. I think putting Jakubek over here is a pretty small risk. Uh, Larius can't get that close right now. Rorosaur. I could put them all here. That has its pros and cons. I could actually... It's a bit late now to think about it, but... I guess I could have rocketed half the map, potentially, if we're lucky. 
uh, in one shot. But I really want to be closer to the hack before we do that. I think we should just try and get straight past this lot as quick as we can. I'll be swift. Eyes on the prize. Okay. They're all leaving. Very good. Uh, I think we've got unlimited time as long as we stay hidden. It's not going to start with the uh, the reinforcements. Can't actually get Jakubek out before I move someone else. Um, it's going to have to be Boothin in order to get some line of sight out here. I really hope there's not like snakes up here or something. I think we would have heard them. As you order. We still see nothing over here. Should be safe to go this far. We'll probably see something now. There we go. Sectoid and snipey snake. Very, very dangerous snipey snake can be, but also very, very easy to deal with if you can get in close. Because if you flank it, it'll move, and if it moves, it can't snipe. Um, let's get our ranger up to this corner. Rorosaur with the flamethrower. I guess this will have to do. Don't need to ask twice. Uh, Larius seems obvious. And Dope Dog. Probably should have moved Dope Dog first. Excellent mobility. It's actually normal mobility. What's Larius's? 13 minus 1. That's terrible. Um, decent aim, though. And we've got the uh, Shooting Sharp perk now. Plus 15 aim against units in cover. That's kind of crazy. Got it. So we got three quarters of the map uh, all over here, and these three up here. I think that's everything. One, two, three. Yeah, I think this is... I think we've seen every enemy. Which means we should be able to literally just walk in um, to where the, the hacky hack is. I've never seen at least the start of this mission go this smoothly before. Um, Moving. But the trick is getting the most out of ambushing them as well. And we have to kill them quickly because reinforcements will come. I haven't seen a single mech, so Dope Dog is going to be relatively useless. We do have a couple of guaranteed pings, but they're not much damage. Got a flashbang. Aid protocol to make it harder to hit certain people. A medkit. Nothing but support this time. Um, I'm thinking maybe we get Rorosaur in position to watch this whole area. And... We stun them all with the hack and rocket as many of them in one shot as we can. Uh, these guys up here never move, I think. Galarius. I don't remember if we get corpses from this mission, but I don't want to be too greedy with that regardless. Um, I probably want to get Larius up here with the rifle, actually. I can get there. Unfortunately, on the other hand, Larius is the only one who can go back into stealth. Whatever, it's fine. It's probably fine. 
Uh, what are we doing with Jacobin? Hmm. That's a good question, actually. How many people do I want to ambush? Or not so much ambush, but like execute these guys. Once we hit the button. Probably... We'll use Jacobex both barrels. And then we can shoot or dash forward this way. Affirmative. And duck dog, I guess. I guess just hang around here for vision. Okay, that's good information. And... We're one tile away from being able to hack it this turn. Not that I really want to hack it this turn. Uh, I can't really get a good... Good angle to see if coming up here would get us spotted. Oh wait, I think I can. If I bring Larius over? Probably not right next to the ladder. That's a long run. What? Oh, there's a turret. I believe if we avoid seeing the t uh, if we avoid the turret seeing us for the whole mission, we don't actually have to bother to kill it, and we still get salvage. Okay, yeah. Um, the graphics are a bit weird right now, but I'm pretty sure based on that outline, uh, Larius has x-ray vision on these guys, so we can tell that this is not going to activate. They do actually move around a little bit. Okay. How far can they move? I can't actually use preview movement on them without direct line of sight. Oh, we do have something to hack with... Um... Dope Dog, 100% shutdown, uh, I believe it's going to do 4 damage, and we can also potentially just one-shot it, like 50-50 to one-shot the turret like this. But for now I think we'll stay there. Um, I'm a little concerned that the game's just going to lie to me about line of sight here. It's not giving notifications if I try to move over here. That he's going to get spotted. So I th think I'll just put Jackie back I'm over here. And Boovim. Uh, is Boovim going to be able to grapple? Yes, but... Should we have Boovim do the hack, or...? With Hit and Run, we should really have Boovim next to someone. When the hack goes off. I could bring Larius down. There's no line of sight. Um... I might have Boovim hack this, grapple up to the window, I hope, and still not get line of sight on the same turn, actually, with a shot. Because the hack takes one action. But next turn, double shots. 
Back at 99% hit chance equals miss. <laughs> yes, indeed. Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, well, regardless, um, I don't think... I don't think we want to do it this turn. I mean, next turn. Uh, we want to take our sweet time and let me just go over here and see if grapple would go where I want it to. Target in range. Move to hack the command okay, okay, central. Uh, he can't actually grapple from here. Um, but if I put him here, he'll be as close as possible. Well, either tile would be as close as possible to that ladder. I guess it'll have to do. To that position. Uh, and now we wait for the best possible rocket. If not flamethrower, but I think flamethrower is being a bit optimistic. From Rorosaur. Probably just keep him here, to be honest. If we're very lucky, we could get three, three of these squads on top of each other. Oh, they have moved quite a bit. Um, so these guys are now right next to Larius and Jakobek. We can come up here, one-shot Snake with both barrels. Um, I could toss... Ooh, I could start by tossing Grenade on them. That'd reveal us to these guys as well, though, with the way... Stealth works in this game. Now, we definitely want to open with a rocket once these squads walk on top of each other again. If I go over here, let me just have a look at what the line of sight looks like. Because these guys are never gonna. They could shoot from here, but they don't have detection radius if we're in stealth from up here, so this is safe if we're in stealth. Rosor actually has rocket angle all the way through here, pretty much. I think that's where we'll park him. I don't know if steady weapon makes rockets more accurate, but probably can't hurt. And I really do think Larius... Uh, is the better candidate to hack this thing. I go where I am needed. Because I want Vuvim to be able to get multiple shots um, once we do pop it. Let's look at the movement range. What? Oh, I can't look at the movement range on these guys. Can I... Here we go, sectoid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles of detection. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh... It either goes out at least one tile or the snake has longer range. I think it's a little too sketchy trying to come up this um this ladder. It should be impossible for them to spot Jacobek. I think. Unless they come right over here, which I don't think they'll do. Alright, let's just put Boovim at the bottom of the ladder. Maybe we'll get an opportunity to move next time. So do. They're moving back. And 
I'm not a fan of where this squad is going. I think they'll definitely turn around next turn, I'm pretty sure. And even if they don't, they shouldn't detect us just yet. Can they... they can't like spot move him from up there, can they? Maybe. Let's put him here. And now I definitely want to get Jacko back up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's still so sketchy. Let's not. Back and forth they go. Yeah, last time I played Long War 2, the squad up the top here just sat still all the time until the fighting started. Oh, they're underneath. That's... That's a very awkward. Uh, we almost have those two squads on top of each other. Maybe they were before, but we didn't know it. Um, I really hope they're not coming up this ladder. Well... We're going to find out. They really don't want to bunch up again like they did before. They went... they went underneath. We can't see them now. Uh, this might be a prime opportunity to move... Dope Dog... If I bring him here, he can still see, like with squad sight range, everything else um, to hack or use combat protocol. And if they somehow come up this ladder in one turn, we might not get spotted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got to be able to get up here now. Orders confirmed. Moving out. All right, and we can finally just see the detection range. Oh, it was actually eight tiles there. Yikes! Glad I was cautious. What I like better is when your gun model is sticking through their head and it says 59%. Yeah, with the vanilla XCOM, uh, the first mission is actually kind of one of the hardest. And not, not in a good way. Uh, rookie at point blank, bearing in mind that this game doesn't simulate, like, if something's moving fast in front of you, it's harder to hit. Point blank is just the best place for most weapons. Um, point blank, rookie, no defense bonuses or anything on, watch. Watch. on the enemy. You've got a whopping 65% chance to hit. Eyes on the prize. So now, if they come over this way next turn, I can actually see 100% whether Boovim could get up here in range to get a double shot the first turn after we stun them. Not gonna happen this turn. Unless maybe Boovim sprints the other way. Definitely glad I put Rorosaur over here.
It'd be good if we had Larius over this way so we could get the X-ray vision on these guys. But I only have so many soldiers. Yeah, we actually can sprint up here. Wow, that's some good movement. All right, let's get Buvim over here. For the flank shots. I'll watch closely. Did they ever walk further than this? Maybe I should put Jacka back a bit closer. I could end up regretting it. It's very, very important we get a good ambush on the rest of them. The ones at the top are not as big of a threat. I think they'll literally never hop over this to reveal us. I think. I wish that other squad would show up again. Nothing to do right now, but wait. With all of the nervous tension. I could move Dope Dog over here to try and get eyes on these guys, but... Uh, we don't have beyond normal vision range with Rorosaur's rocket launcher yet. So it's not going to make a difference. It's also a bit risky. Here they come. I was just gonna say, if these guys kept going that way, and in two turns they're all three squads are on top of each other. Oh, that was that was a little dangerous. Good thing we've got this cover here. Alright, we wait. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys have never left this rectangle, but I really don't want to gamble it. We'll give them a few more turns. If they never break that pattern, we'll maybe be a bit greedier. Maybe I shouldn't be putting this much into killing the double sectoid snake. Maybe I should bring Jacobek back down this way. If Boovim gets trouble in trouble, Larius can probably rescue. Maybe. Arius can grenade them next the turn after the hack. Okay, yeah, I think I think Jacobek should be like way down here somewhere. Help kill all of these guys. I think this is safe. Boovim has a grenade as well, right? That is a lot of red on the map. Yeah, this is the whole... Oh, I think this might be the turn. This is the whole map. Schlerpus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, how good can we get with this rocket? Um, Potentially all of them. 
with a spread of less than half a tile, allegedly. And if they fall through the ground, um, they if the floor falls out below them, they take even more damage. Um, I think this is it, unless we're going to wait six hours. It's about as good as it gets. Except that Jakubek isn't in the greatest position. He does have double flank shot on Sectoid. Sectoid might just be dead anyway, though. But being able to hit half the map with one rocket... Uh, I don't think it's going to get much better. Alright, be hacky hack. Uh, why not? 5% chance this makes a difference? Nope. Oh, volume warning. Uh, let me mute it. Status confirmed. We have control of the network. The, uh... Signal is going out. Wait, no, I can't mute it from there. My bad, thanks, Shlopus. Sh okay, and we killed it. Fantastic. Do it again. Nice. Alright, two down, ten to go. What's the game waiting for? Now we go. Larius doesn't have a shot. Um, I could activate Shadow just to run faster. But then we're not going to have Shadow if we don't kill them all um, before they wake up. The turret is stunned as well. Uh, I've got a 100% shutdown, which will almost kill it with, uh, what is it called? Trojan deals damage to it when the hack ends. But more importantly, uh, probably the most important shot for this mission. I'm going to try and hit half the map with one rocket. Three kills. Very nice. Uh, Jakobek has a 78% chance twice. On a flanked sectoid. If I do that, he's going to be back here next turn, though, as well. Um, oh, he's actually got uh, steady hands. If he did not move, gain a bonus to aim and crit. I think it's plus 10, plus 10. This guy's flanked, even though he's asleep. I mean, not flanked, he's in cover. Hmm... We're flanking three things from over here. I think that's going to be better for our ranger, who can shoot twice. And which one's the most important? Probably not sectoid, but chance to hit is higher. Oh, that hurts. You can't hit a sleeping sectoid. Uh, we've only got two left. Question is, do I move in and shoot our piddly little SMG with Dope Dog? I think the answer is yes. No problem, we can hack the 
turret later. Uh, and I think the purifier is by far the highest priority. We've also got a good chance to hit it. And we miss a stationary target. Okay. Um, if I come out here, we've got shots on everything, it looks like. Basically. And that's the turn. We have one more turn of free attacks. Only 80%? Uh, I wish I had another rocket. Don't have the equipment for that yet. Um, can move him 80% move over to this thing? That seems good. You missed. Alright, 60% twice. This is... This is not great, actually. And we're not closer to wiping these guys out. You missed again. Um... Well... That's actually a hard choice now. Alright, we got 78% twice on Sectoid. Uh, I think... I want to say 68% twice on Sergeant is more important. Actually, if I do that, you'll be flanked. I think it might be time to just uh, flashbang these guys. Run away a bit. Except there's no good spot to have cover against them if we move back a tile. Over here isn't bad, but it's light cover. Varasaur, with that weird position, doesn't quite have the movement to come up and execute these things. Uh, I could use fire. Might be the best idea. How do our snipes look? 80%. Weapon range minus 12, minus 45. Need to get closer. I didn't realize the weapon range would be this bad. Is this one... We can get plus 12... By getting closer. Hmm. I wish I'd got Jacobet closer for this. I think we'd put him over here. Uh, we try... We should be able to execute Sectoid. I don't want to take any more dice rolls right now. They've all gone very poorly with high chances of win. That's good. We get one more action. Um, I think we just probably kill Trooper. Nice. There's still... Uh, is it Snack over here? It is Sectoid. Pretty good chance to kill it. Let's do it. You must be joking. Okay. Uh, so Larius. What's the max damage from this? Three to four plus one. So even if we max crit this thing, we can't kill it this turn. Um, I can't quite get close enough to like force the snake's instinct to curl up with Boovim, which would mean we could easily rescue. I think we just go over here. And I could make a risky move whereby I try to hack the turret, which should have squad sight. 
uh, to control it instead of just um, shut it down. Oh boy. I think we probably let the sectoid be. It'll probably run around and raise a zombie. Uh, I think we should probably activate Shadow just to get closer to these guys. I am the just for a better shot. I am trusting you. Even though we lose it immediately. Still only 75. Well, the two enemies that I'm scared of here, I can't I can't uh, control or eliminate this turn. So we're going to try and kill the sentry. And another miss. Okay, so that's what, like, uh, an 80, an 80, a 75, like, every high probability attack has missed. I'm pretty sure the purifier can't flamethrower if... We use a flashbang. Need a light? Plus they'll have atrocious mobility and aim. Why did it say it all twice? It made me think there were six enemies here. Okay, they're waking up. Uh, I'm a little worried about that turret, but not really. Oh! They don't get an action yet. That's not what I was expecting. If I'd known that I'd actually have three turns to kill them, uh, I would have done things a little bit differently. Now, as it is, we don't, for example, have Rorosaur about to flame through these guys. Um, well, let's start with the easy decisions. Move him. I'd like you to not have line of sight to this uh, turret, but I guess this'll do. Almost maximum chance to shoot this. 100%. 3 to 4 plus 1 twice. Just don't min roll. Fantastic. Hilarious. Uh, I'm going to need you to snipe one of these guys with a shot that doesn't have terrible aim. 91%, still not 100. I do not trust this to hit at all at this point. But there's nothing for it. Two damage with a 91% flank shot. Okay then. Um, I think we should probably get Jacobet to execute Sectoid. 87%. Missed again. Fantastic. This game definitely doesn't need any RNG smoothing. It should definitely have as much lumpy RNG as it has. Will they be activated if you move out of line of sight now? Uh, the turret? I th think not, but I was thinking of hacking it regardless. 91% chance and you don't trust it to hit. Sounds like you're getting to know the game. Yeah. I, I take almost as many abilities as I can that give me guaranteed hits. Uh, he's going to be flanked by the turret. Okay. Can we get... If I go over here, none of them have line of sight on Dope Dog. But if they come in here, because they will absolutely wall hack. I can't see what the movement is going to be like. It's going to be like double this. Sergeant could come in here and get a flank shot on Dope Dog if I do this. 
Like, if we run away, um, the AI will absolutely wall hack and just move to the perfect position to get a flank here. Um, I could go over here, have light cover, and hack turret. He moved away from the purifier after taking a couple of shots, but they woke up. Um, I think they would run around knowing that something's up. They'd probably get shots at us. This is actually getting really ridiculous. Um, okay. Rather than risk the flank shot... Wait. I can't quite get line of sight to the turret from there. Alright, it's going to have to be light cover for... Dope Dog, I think. I can't quite see the purifier. I don't th think he can get close enough for flamethrower. He might. Line of sight check. Uh, the sergeant would have to blue move to the flank. I think. I think we take an extra shot with Jakubek at the sergeant, even though it's only sixty-eight percent. Uh, and we come over here to do the guaranteed hack. I'm going. So it's like a domino effect. We take this out of the picture, that means our ranger doesn't have to move, except an 82% to control? Do I need to take that kind of risk at this point? I'm pretty sure we get shots straight away if I control the turret, but like... Okay. If we get the turret, shooty shoot, very helpful. I think it fires twice per turn and has squad sight. Uh, if we don't attempt it, this could get ugly, but not that ugly. And if we attempt and fail the hack, it could get really ugly. So let's absolutely not trust like the 7th 82 plus percent shot. And we would have got control over it. Cool. I've got access. That's gone for two turns. That'll be probably the end. Uh, and we've only got a couple of actions now. Well, I can move up and do something with Rorosaur. I don't want to go close enough for the Purifier to do his thing, but I don't think... That can happen here. Not a problem. Let's take a much better... Um, 77% on Sergeant. 87% to kill Sentry, uh, approximately. It's more like 80, maybe. I can't kill either of these guys this turn, so I think we go for the sentry. Let's try for the millionth time to kill Sectoid. Finally, I actually, I saw that one bullet go past and I thought we'd missed. Alright, 87% sentry. It's another miss. Is, Is anyone keeping count? of just how improbable this is. Uh, what? Okay, I couldn't see what he was shooting at, but we got a little bit lucky there. It didn't do any real damage. Again? Going at our Reaper? Interesting choice. Uh, Rorosaur doesn't quite have flamethrower range. This guy won't take flamethrower damage. We need to do something about that overwatch. I think Boovim has interference. It's a free action. There's no way we're not doing this. We've got two more charges. 
Uh, if I had a way to stun uh, the Flamer, I would absolutely do that. Move up and burn these guys. I think we'd only reach the Sentry, though. We've got 100% now on Purifier, but not that much damage. We do have, however, uh, what is it called? Total Combat. I don't know why you would ever not take this for the first tier. 1 Mobility, 5 Aim, Grenade no longer ends your turn, and you can throw it further, and the Grenade has a wider area of effect. Uh, and you get a Grenade only slot. Uh, so we're going to soften up Purifier, and then we're going to have a guaranteed execution. Do we need... is there any reason to use anyone else to do it though? He's now flanked from this side. So let's see what our shots look like. 100%, that is literally guaranteed, but we're not going to move up in flame. 97%, I, I don't even trust the 97% at this point. Also, we wouldn't get two shots because we need to reload. Um, are there any shots that would be... There actually kind of are. If we can save uh, Larius's shot to go for the sentry, that's actually kind of good. I can only take one shot with Jacobek. If, if we win this turn, we get loot as well. Uh, we're never going to accomplish anything this turn with Boovim. I could scratch the turret so that if it drags out that long, uh, it'll die, guaranteed. Okay, well, Jacobek's not going to do anything more useful than this, this turn. Let's try. Fantastic. I was a little afraid we're going to get the fire here, but it doesn't look like... Rorosaur has to worry about it. On my way. So now we burn the bigger threat. Um, I don't know if this will inform my decision at all, but we're definitely going to take this shot. Fantastic. We finally hit something below 99%, 97% chance. All right. We burn the officer or the sergeant, whatever it's called. No fire, not good. I have two guaranteed damage on him. I don't think he's going to get set on fire if he tries to move. At least not straight away. Jacobet can't really do anything. Uh, I wish he could get up here to get the loot, but he can't do that much. Kind of wish I'd hacked that turret. Okay. Move him, if you please. Give the turret a little tickle. Make sure it dies as soon as the hack finishes. Um, technically, I could actually not finish this guy, because if we max roll... Uh, if we max roll with the SMG without a crit, he's still got one hit point because of the armor. So I think... I can't get heavy cover anywhere, but everyone else is in light co cover regardless. Whatever you say. So we'll just apply Red Fog with two guaranteed damage. Kill him guaranteed next turn. Hope that he burns. And that's pretty much all we can do. Alright. Wait, what? How did he... Wait, what just happened? 
Did the fire destroy the ground that he was standing on? I, I don't know how that sergeant died. I think that's his corpse. What killed him? What? I don't think we got that loot either. I didn't see the animation show that the loot was destroyed though. That would normally happen. Well, there it is. Despite all of that, it's a flawless victory. Fantastic. We're taking a photo for this one. Uh, that pose by Rorosaur is absolutely perfect. No notes. I wish I could get some fire in the background. Oh, yes. Uh, beautiful. That'll do it. <laughs> How did you get zero wounded, though? Didn't your sniper get hit for two? Yes, it did. Uh, with Long War, you get... I mean, you can remove it if you want, but... Oh my god, the volume. Sorry, I forgot that one. Uh, you have infinite supplies of ablative armor for two hit points. Uh, it doesn't come back. Contact the resistance in the black site region. Fantastic. Commander, I've up Thank you, Central. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing. And out of all that, the only one to get a promotion is Rorosaur. No items, we didn't get the loot. Uh, Rorosaur is going to continue to walk the path of explosions. And accurate, uh, with his high aim, low mobility, um, we're, we're very, very much going, uh, it's not just high aim, low mobility, it's high aim, low mobility, and light em up. Uh, we're very much going down the path of shooting things, as opposed to flamethrower with Rorosaur. I really, really like Shredder for this. What have we got, 8 AP left? We'll probably get Return Fire? Maybe pre uh, Precision Shot? Been a while since I played, indeed. Uh, good to see you again, Marsh, by the way. Yeah, I'll show you that item. Um, so by default, all of your soldiers have this. Uh, it is called Ceramic Plating. Costs one mobility like anything else. Two ablative hit points, they don't come back. That's it. So you can take a scratch without getting a wound if you're lucky. Which is exactly what we did take. Despite all of those terrible dice rolls, we did get through with a win and no wounds. So how much can I really complain? We're still, we still only have sergeants for our top ranks. That's not necessarily very good. Um, I may have spread the XP a little too thin uh, this time. Or maybe we just need to try and get more missions. Dope Dog and Sigma Bean, that's... That's not a good bond, actually. I think they're both hackers. They're not just both... Could you stop? Uh, I think they're both hackers. They're not just both specialists. Um, yeah, they're both they're both going down the hacker route. I'm almost never gonna bring those two on one mission, if ever. Corporal, yes, yes, that is. That is what that rank is. Uh, it's squaddy, lance corporal, corporal, sergeant, first few ranks. Okay, so now that we've done that... Oh, I have no power? That's a problem. That really incentivizes me to build a power relay already, but it's so bad long term. I want to build it 
in an exposed power coil. If we're very lucky, we'll get plus power from a point of interest. But I wouldn't hold my breath. I don't have that many supplies to spend Maximum on buildings regardless for the moment. But I can't even... Uh, I can't even do officer training. How much power... I don't regret upgrading the covert, the resistance uh, ring, despite the fact that it cost our last two power, but I probably would have thought about it a little bit longer if I'd realized that we still can't get officers. Okay, one hour until a potential ambush for our covert ops. Resistance forces in the area can get you into the site, but you will need to make contact with their network first. This is only the beginning, Commander. We need to. Your leadership will be a beacon to our people across yes, the Yes, thank globe. you. Uh, we need to spend another 600 million intel and stuff before we can go after the black site. Uh, we got. Oh, it's like the. <sighs> The marker for it is right on top of Reaper HQ. <laughs> uh, this is the enemy HQ for the region. Um, the, it's a very big mission to assault this facility. Max squad size 10, though that would take a very long time to infiltrate. Uh, and there's going to be something like 30 to 50 enemies, depending on how we go about it. Uh, there won't be any reinforcements, though. We do get full salvage. Um, so we really want to gear up like crazy for that one. And once we do uh, open up the region, we can, at least for a while, uh, have our have our rebels bringing us supplies or intel without threat of attack. Um, we got no missions going on right now. We just got laser weapons, advanced laser weapons. We've got 155 supplies. We've got another mech coming in right now. People seem to work well together, Commander. I don't think we can take the mech on the mission. It's only for defensive missions. So the question is... We didn't even get any promotions from that. Uh, the question is, do I gear up the headquarter mission right now? 155 supplies. Laser weapons aren't that expensive, though. How many wounded do we have? Uh, Yatuwatu probably wouldn't be at the top of the list to take anyway. Manakin is... Not that strong, although big potential over there with Lightning Slash. Single action to slash something within blue move range. Um, and a squaddy specialist in Crimson. Um, we're not going to be taking a squaddy specialist for this. So literally everyone that we would want to take is available right now. And we just got laser weapons, and we have 155 supplies. Uh, and the enemy weren't as strong as I expected them to be just now. So I don't think it's ever going to get better than this. So, whoops. Oh, cool. Now Central's going to yell at me because we we spent literally one nanosecond. Yep. Covert, the resistance ring has been vacant for one millisecond on the overworld. So Central's going to yell at us. Uh, why can't I click this? What? Hello? Um, 
apparently my predecessor I can, was something I can go everywhere else apparently the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects commander's quarters she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible I can go to the archives well I was trying to go to resistance management regardless I'm pretty sure a save and reload would have fixed that um, but for now I just want to get every possible soldier and every possible piece of equipment available to gear this up. If we only take six people, it's gonna take seven days, and we're probably gonna get absolutely clapped. Uh, baseline activity is 35 enemies, plus or minus one. We're gonna want a Reaper, a hundred thousand percent. We need someone who can go back into stealth if our scout loses stealth. Uh, Midden seems good. I just realized we've got like two predator armors as well. This is the absolute perfect time to attack except that we don't have that much supplies to spend but I've seen it happen enough times that we wait for a better time and it just gets worse um, so we got our Reaper our Ra uh, I almost said Ranger Shinobi uh, I think I would like all of our shooters to be next in order probably double Ranger Gunner Who's our best gunner? Pancake with 66 aim. It's a good tank, not much else. Would be a lot better if we had hail of bullets for the occasional guaranteed hit. Um, but I'm at this rate, I'm thinking we probably don't take Pancake. Um, actually, that's the one soldier I keep missing when people ask for a name. Uh, I, 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 I fail to notice that this one hasn't been named yet. Uh, I definitely want a sharpshooter, if not two. But our other sharpshooters... Oh yeah, Morpheus is actually good. Cool. Morpheus is only a Lance Corporal, but at least he's got depth from above. And I think... Oh, I didn't buy it yet, the depth perception. I could fly over and get it, it would take a few hours. If we're gonna go double sharpshooter, I think that's a good idea. On the other hand, I don't love the 75 aim on Stardust. On the other other hand, even just having a someone spare with hollow target is good. Uh, also really good potential later on in Stardust. Or decent potential anyway. With uh, the reaction fire. Okay, so we got like a couple of scouts, a couple of shooters. Don't think we're gonna have any gunners this time. Probably not the best idea to take a squatty gunner, no matter how good their potential is, on this kind of mission. Uh, we need a couple of specialists. We need some. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some ambush. Vorosaur, I kind of forgot, is actually a really good shooter as well as having a rocket. We don't actually have a second rocket that we can take. And I don't think we've got better rocket launcher either. Um, what happened to our... I don't remember losing. When you're tired or hungry or just 
Need a treat? Advent Burger, the place for me. Thank you so much. I we haven't actually lost a uh Templar. We haven't located a faction. Okay, we don't have a Templar yet, but we do have the ability to buy the shield for the Templar. That seems a little weird. Um, I th think I will buy the Depth Perception. It's only 15 supplies, and it makes a sniper much, much better. While we're at it, maybe there's something we can sell. Maybe. I could go all in on selling the cores. That might actually be the way to go right now. Oh, we've got a laser cannon. That actually kind of makes the difference as to whether we might bring a, a gunner. That's plus five aim and a lot of damage for this point in the game. I could sell data pad. I wish I didn't have to fly back and forth to like do the loadout and check if we've got enough of everything. I might regret this later, but you know what? We're probably going to get a million cores out of this mission. And we really, really need it to be well equipped. Setting course for the Arctic. So that's all of our cores sold. Okay. Uh, Reaper. Shinobi. Shooters. Snipers. Where's Morpheus? Depth Perception for Stardust. Um, probably a Grenadier or two. And a Hacker or two. But we can't do both. Dope Dog didn't get a promotion either. Uh, I think we're going to go with Dope Dog here. None of this is particularly good at the moment. Hit and run would be good later on. Alright, that'll have to do. Let me put... Hacker back here. And do I really want to take two grenadiers? Did I spec them differently? Oh, Shmua is higher ranked. And has low profile. Plus one damage. Alright. I don't have any special grenades right now. So we could take four... If I don't take ablative armor, we could take, like... Uh, five grenades. Probably a good idea to have at least one flashbang. Do we have any free flashbangs? We, we do have one from Sloda. It's not a whole lot. I think we should have at least one flash over here. And I'm tempted to give you armor. Wait, what? Didn't it say that we had a pair of predator armors? Oh, they're already wearing them? Yeah, 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 I remember now. Um, Rorosaur is... doesn't have that many hit points. Although we did also put advanced conditioning on him. It's actually the tankiest at the moment. Um, but 
I was thinking of making our grenadier a bit more squishy, especially with low profile, just so we can have one more grenade. Could give you some speed. Not the worst idea. Um, I think we've only got two gunners to choose from. And considering Rodriguez doesn't have anything that makes him better at shooting, it's only combatives, which we've also got on Midden. I think we just take the gunner with better aim. Even though it's a squatty, 69 aim isn't that bad, plus 5 from the laser cannon. Uh, and we have Suppression, Area Suppression, Knife Fighter. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to regret that. No, we'll take the tank. So that even if he misses shots, he can be useful in another way. Okay. Uh, as for what we're going to do with our meager accessories, highest priority would be scopes on sniper rifles. We've actually got an elite stock for uh, Morpheus. I think I would rather pour that on the sniper that has higher aim already. So at least someone has really high aim. And we'll probably use uh, Stardust for hollow targeting a lot of the time. We've got 22 shared um, points uh, to give someone. Now would probably be a good time. Bladestorm on our worst aim gunner. Maybe not. I could waste all the points for the occasional double shot from our hacker. Um, how about... Uh, if, if we had long watch, I would definitely give Stardust cool under pressure at this point. Hey, Larius. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Additional aim and crit against hollow targeted units. If your hollow target gave people better aim, maybe. Wait, isn't there a sniper who's so bad that I actually went hollow target spec? It's my clad. Uh, 66 aim. <laughs> but we've. We haven't even leveled him up yet at all, so that doesn't help even a little bit. Oh yeah, lick your wounds on a sniper. Perfect. Bunker down to heal, because it's always the snipers that get injured. Okay. We're going to need some weapons. Um, I think... Laser weapons are pretty cheap, um, but regardless, I th think sniper rifles are going to be the highest priority. 50 supplies for... We're out of crystals! Oh no. And I just sold all of the cores that we could break down into crystals. Uh, okay. There's literally nothing here I can build. I can give them armor. Uh, alright, well we have Morpheus with our one laser sniper rifle. Uh, scope and maybe suppressor. 
I think we have to go right now, because... We're mostly going to have conventional weapons, whether we like it or not. Um... And if we wait to try and get stronger weapons, the enemy's going to get stronger faster. Where's our laser rifle? We had one laser rifle, right? Oh, Sloda has it. Um... I think I probably want that on Rorosaur, with higher aim and shredder. And a scope. And... I wish I had a... I wish I had an extended mag here. Auto loaders are better for the shorter missions, but this is going to be a long one. Okay, elite hair trigger for our Overwatch specialists. Elite laser sight, ex advanced expanded mag, elite hair trigger. That's on a ranger. Normally, I would agree. We'll give you the autoloader, and we'll give Rorosaur the advanced mag. Um, assault rifle, elite head trigger, laser sight, autoloader. Uh, I guess you can have a stock, why not? I don't see myself actually using that. I really wish I'd gotten the laser vector rifle, though. 3 to 5 on this is just, like, slightly better than a ping. Um, and we need a stop. And I guess a suppressor is fine. Uh, do we want pistol for Morpheus? Might not be the worst idea. Nah, uh, I think he's slow enough already, and he'll, he's surrounded by people who can... who can cover him. I normally like to put a pistol on a specialist like this as well, but already down to 14 mobility. Oh, we've actually got like three flashbangs. That's good. No, I, I'm not going below that, I think. And I could grab open fire, I guess. I mean, the points are just going to sit there doing nothing otherwise. Come on, Dope Dog. You can at least ping something with an Overwatch shot more reliably. Free smoke? Why not? Okay. Return fire on Rorosaur actually sounds really, really good. Let's do that. We have 10 points left. I think we should probably save those. Flashbanger for Morpheus, but it'll probably be at the back and unable to use it. Let's just keep that. And I think we'll go medkit over here as well. Alright, let me just double check if there's anything else we can build to make this safer. We can build a bunch of armor. Uh, that's probably a pretty good idea. We don't actually have fireproof anything yet. 
Why is that skirmisher? I thought I would have at least considered that. Way down here, Boovim. Who would I swap out for Boovim? Boovim's not that great yet, but still. Uh, I can't give him an upgraded weapon, let's not. Okay, so we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people not wearing armor. How many alloys do we have? We can make one armor. Oh, that hurts. Okay, do it. I could make a nanoscale vest for someone. Or oh, I could make two of them. And that's literally about it. Uh, AP rounds are probably a good idea. Give those to both of our snipers. And... They should be able to clap any drones. Gonna be pretty slow, though. Is there anyone else I should put AP rounds on? Probably... Uh... Jacobek. Already really fast, wouldn't even drop below 14. Alright, one more AP round. And then it's all just kind of garbage that we could add. Not Rorosaur, although Rorosaur is good too, but Rorosaur is already very, very slow. And that's pretty much going to do it. I don't think one grenade is worth the reduced mobility in such a long mission when Larius' mobility is so low. So let's move that up. Oh, and I can give him plus mobility. Let's do that. That'll eventually become plus two when we get a certain upgrade. Um, not really many options here. I would really wish we had more scopes. Just take the auto loader. Why not? Anyone want a hair trigger? Definitely. Uh, the gunner. And I think that's going to do it. Okay. It's a finally on. I don't think there's anything else we can do to increase our chances here. Oh, wait. Who did I give the armor to? Nobody? Who should I give the armor to? Probably... Probably Midden. I was slightly leaning toward uh, Sloder. But Midden at some point is going to be closer to the problems. 22 days to infiltrate unless we boost it. Uh, and that would be for 34 to 36 enemies. With 50% boost, 15 days, 7 hours. It's a lot. We don't necessarily want to boost it down to the point where they have the minimal number of enemies, because this is one of the few uh, missions where we get full salvage. But... We're not feeling overconfident with our equipment either, so we'll see. I'll probably just boost it and infiltrate it as much as possible until something comes up and we have to go as quickly as possible. Who do we have available for... Uh, covert Ops? 
we'll probably go for some lower ranked people for this and just not be as attached to the outcome. Loot and PCS and manufacture upgrade can all be very good or very bad, uh, assuming that you win. Um, ambush chance isn't that high yet, so I think I want to do the missions that have only two soldiers. I don't want to miss gain ability points though. Okay, we could definitely use a superior weapon upgrade of some kind. Let's, uh, was it Sheep Say Meh who is good at swords, or I think it was I in the Sky. Sheep Say Meh is a spy, I think. Yep. Okay. PCS? No, wait. Upgrade. Uh, oh, how about Boovim? Boovim is pretty handy. An ambush kind of situation. And we'll take Tumbling as well. 6% failure, 21% ambush. My Off you go. And you'd better not get ambushed because we do not have our A-team ready to rescue you. For the most part. Uh, let's get people back. Still can't click this. Let's get people back in as Haven advisors. Any class that would be okay for that. Probably not specialist. My clat. Um, it's really not much to choose from right now. Wait, who did I send? I thought it was I am the sky. On the covert action. Oh, Boovim, right. Um, how good would a shinobi be? Probably pretty bad if we get an infiltrator mission. Let's go with the gunner and I guess a specialist. We've done it before. Did that say advent strength one? Uh, it did. Okay, so everyone except for this region, uh, I think we'll get you on supply now. Already doing it. Fantastic. Uh, and... While we wait, I guess we gain some intel. We've got a decent chunk of intel, but it's nowhere near enough to think about opening up the next region. If I go for build faster, we get some supplies and stuff Avenger back sooner. Considering we have zero alloys and delirium right now, uh, might be a good idea. That's a mission we probably won't be taking. I could send a spy or two. Recover item from advent vehicle. Do we have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Oh, I am this guy. Sheep say meh, I think. Mannequin's also doing swords, right? Sheep say meh. Ghostwalker Shadow Step. Preservation. Fantastic. Uh, and a low ranked specialist. 
We've got a pair of squaddies, one of which is available. Who does Odette Durand want to bond with? Jake Ch oh, the rookie. Okay. We're going to try and do a sneaky mission so that we don't have to commit our combat forces. Okay, so I am the sky, I mean sheep samer. How many times am I going to get that back to front? And the lowliest of specialists. Um, I was going to say armor's not likely to help you if you get caught, but you've already got so much mobility. This. Uh, squatty, not so much, though. 15 isn't as bad. I might give sheep a smoke. So, can potentially cover the retreat of our specialist. And that's the squad. Off you go. Try not to die. Sky Ranger, deep in position for deployment. JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Avengers Hope you're doing well. Alright, we scan. We get datapad decrypted. We go back to some real research, which is to say faceless autopsy, because that's all we've got. Unless we want to keep doing I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is Lovely. also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. Uh, how many data pads do we have? But there is one thing I missed. One left. Okay, cool. Those damn juicy advent burgers. Commander. All right. Hopefully, we don't get an ambush right now. We don't get an ambush right now. Elite expanded magazine. That is not bad. Uh, what's next? Probably. I really don't want to miss gain ability points. Uh, we've got a few options as the ambush chance increases for missions that take three soldiers, so let's just take this one. Um, I in the sky, move in, and tumbles. 25% fail. I don't love that. But it's not going to get much better. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. Okay. We scan. 30 hours until... Ooh, what's this? Uh, it's a rendezvous. Did it get our grenadier? That's good. Alright, let's go. Please tell me we don't have a grenadier that doesn't have grenades or something, though. From some momentary shuffling of items. Operation Final Sword. We got one, two, three, four assault rifles. Assault mode. Uh, two grenades. That's that's exactly what I was afraid of. Okay, that's unfortunate. The main advantage of 
Now Grenadier is gone, more or less. Alright, let's have a peek over here. I should probably look at the stats for our rookies. What have we got? 78 aim, 9 health, 13 mobility, that's fantastic. Uh, 8 and 75 and 11 horrible mobility, but otherwise good. This is our soldier. 66 aim with an assault rifle. It's bad. 72 deep cover executioner. Nice. Um, that's looking pretty good. 72 aim on this one as well. Alright, well, I don't think this mission overall should be a problem. We do have... Is it literally everyone but our Haven Advisor is on assault rifles? That's different. Be good, actually. Nobody hears anything. Let's have a peek. Let's not get too crazy. What's over here? Uh, what about this way? Go, go, go. Nothing. What about over here? Out. Oh, we found him. Enemy sighted. Uh, double Trooper Sectoid, I think. Yeah. Pretty easy to deal with. In fact, the troopers will probably both die from a grenade. Um... I don't get it. Wait, he has five health, okay. And no ablative armor. I'm not a fan of this. Rolling. Um... What's better, being closer or having hide advantage? Ooh. Yu Ying Zhao has return fire and negative dodge and nine health. Getting it done. Uh, does anyone have lower dodge than negative nine? Oh. So probably potentially going to get some free shots. That's only if we let the enemy get a chance to shoot at us. Negative six. Uh, yeah, that is indeed the lowest dodge. Okay. We can get a flank shot from here. I'm curious, what would the odds be? 90%? Uh, okay. That's better than expected. I thought being closer would matter more. Who's got the worst aim? This person. Min Su Cho. Let's try and keep you close to them. On the move. And I kinda want the others stepping off. Up on the elevation. Could could the camera stop trying to make me misclick? Roger Thank that. you. Cool. Thanks. Nice. Um, that's about all the elevation we're going to get, I think. This will do. And... Let's see what they do this turn. Oh, I didn't hit Overwatch for this guy. They're coming... Well, they're leaving, more like, over that way. I would like to know where the uh, Faceless is that makes no tactical sense at all. before we engage them. So we can get some distance first. Heading to that location. Oh, 
I really like the odds of these shots. Damn. I need to get these guys in as rookies. Uh, maybe a little bit closer, though. I'm kind of expecting them to be, uh, the faceless to be out this way. I don't want to think about this. Nothing. And nothing. So they're probably around here somewhere. Uh, I'm okay with that. Oh, and we can get very close now if we so desire. Uh, let's make sure we have vision on all of them. Before we do something rash. Closing on target position now. Okay, so we can see exactly how far the sectoid might go. And... Already there. Let's just bunch everyone up out. in here. Solid copy. Waiting for the camera to yoink. Nope, didn't happen this time. Moving. Oh, there it is. Stepping off. I don't think they're going to cross to the other side of the road. They're going to take their sweet time coming back, it looks like. Uh, let's once more Hi. see if we can find the faceless. We see nothing. Uh, probably going to be able to see it through this window. Maybe I'm being a pest there we go. I think I'm gonna get along it's a with priest. These guys. They're gonna be much more of a problem than the first pod. But that said, um, I think I'd still like to ambush the first pod. So let's do that. Get into position. Orders confirmed. On the move. I'm on it. And I definitely don't want to have line of sight on the second pod when we ambush the first. So not over there. I think this is fine actually. And now we wait I don't want to go this way. for the other lot to come back. Where on earth have they gone? Oh, they did go to the other side of the, uh, the road. At least for now. Okay. Um, can they actually see... I don't think... I, I think it's unlikely, but let's not Heading risk that it. Location. That they could spot flanked enemy. On Overwatch. Moving on target if they location. come close enough to spot flanked like this, Heading we're going to get location. a lot of Overwatch shots. Ready. Point blank. Ready. Well, that'd take a couple of turns anyway. Okay, one more. And now we use grenade. Unless they come close enough. Oh, they do. Oh, good start. Very good start. One left. 
Um, let's have a look at the line of sight from here. I don't think there's any chance. I mean, even if we do find them, we've got all of our actions right now. But I think this is safe. Yep, we're good. And we got three pieces of loot. Right. You with the worst aim, please pick up the loot. And... Get yourself over here, ready to throw a flashbang if they come this way. Uh, and now... We reload Overwatch, move Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and so on. Oh, and just in case, we throw Sky Ranger evac. It is six turns away, though. Uh, reload Overwatch, please. Maybe bring this guy closer, it, they might spot him. Never mind. Let's not risk any movement right now. That was a waste, I didn't reload. I used to have a mod that just made that check unnecessary. Nope. Didn't get punished for it. Did they not hear us? Or are they trying to flank us or something? This is a little strange. I'm watching. I'm always watching. Oh, here they come. We get some shots. Oh, wow, max roll. SMG at long range. Good start. And that hit the faceless. So he's on like what six health. Yep. No shots on trooper. Trooper takes a shot. Good job, Overwatch. Not. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Uh, that's their only action that they get though. Pretty sure I want to get a grenade on these two. Um, Faceless is going to be able to run this far. Claws reach a bit further, but this will be safe. Even if we didn't damage him and give him red fog. What the hell? Now I don't have line of sight on them? Are you sure? He was standing here, right? On my way. Yeah. That is quite the line of sight shenanigans. Okay. Got a present for you. Wait a sec. That faceless isn't where we think it is. Uh, I can't tell which tile it's on. Let's do a save. Hopefully it renders it properly this time. No wonder the line of sight was so strange. So where is it actually? We don't know. Now we've lost line of sight on the priest? Triple A games. Um, shouldn't be any harm in moving up here. Maybe we see something. Okay. Okay, we can find them all again. Fantastic. And we actually get an accurate report of where... 
where this guy is. Looks like it. Can we not hit them both? Really? We can. I have a present for you. As the ambassador of Earth, I wish to give you this gift on behalf of my people. Very diplomatic. All right, uh, two health left on the faceless. Hopefully we can wipe it out this turn. Oh, we have angle, 83%. I'm even going to use precision shot just to reduce the chance of a graze. Do it. And a miss. Okay, 80% equals 0%. Could we have the game volume up a bit? Uh, sure. That might be a little louder than it looks like. The, uh... It's a bit weird. Sometimes I have to adjust it slightly the first time. Should we go for another shot on Faceless? Probably. It's not like we can kill Priest this turn, right? If we're lucky, we can kill Trooper. 50%. With average damage. It's more like 30% because of Graze. Uh, let's take one more shot at Faceless. I'm on it. 80%. Thank goodness. Alright. Uh, I think I could just grenade Trooper. Or I could grenade Trooper's cover. Hopefully leaving him flanked. He's not flanked, but he's almost dead. And the trooper corpse would be not unwelcome. Can I flashbang the I'm priest here. from here? It's very quiet compared to your voice, almost half. Okay. Uh, I can flashbang priest. Let's do that. So you think it should still be louder? We've only got one shot left. Uh, I think we just... This isn't even high cover. May as well move up. Try so. to kill Trooper. 56%. Fantastic. Graze is good enough there. Alright, we can get flank on Priest, but that's with an SMG. Um, I could theoretically get six damage just like this. Probably twice what you just did. Like that. It's very sensitive, like that volume slider can't really be trusted. Um... I think I want to grenade him. Let me reload. There's a chance this kills him outright. It's the only way to prove I'm not crazy. The fact that the UI dis hasn't disappeared yet tells me it did not. Uh, but now he's totally flanked. We should be able to finish him off now. Uh, let's not set ourselves on fire to do it. Ninety-two percent, fantastic. Hostile target Positive down. confirmation. Area secure. Nice. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. It's not flawless, but one damage on one of these guys doesn't actually do anything. Better, thank you. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens so we got what? Five pieces of loot. A priest corpse, a faceless corpse, sectoid, three troopers. If every mission goes this way, it's
it's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. Indeed. Head trigger, advanced head trigger, expanded magazine, light, uh, laser sight, Illyrium core, which we'd run out of, uh, and all of those corpses. Very nice. Now we have new research to do as well. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Shut up, Central. Uh, we've only got one core, right? Does it tell us here? There it is. No, it doesn't. Without access to refined fossil fuels, power is difficult to come by outside the cities. Core. Even among the Just staunchest one. of anti-alien dissidents, recovered advent equipment is highly coveted. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Okay. We'll probably render that core for crystals at this rate. Maximum power consumption reached. We do actually gain one power from a workshop. Hmm. I could put it here. And we could dig this out and staff this and have more engineers available. I think we'll do that. Okay, 99%. We're going to get that to extremely light, though. Uh, spearhead is only up to 20%. Swarming plus, 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 plus. Yeah, we're not doing that yet. Um, let's pass some time. Avenger plotting new course. Does it pick up items on the ground if the mission ends? Yes, it does. Even if they're 17 tiles away and it's like on the last turn before it expires. Uh, Midden, good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome, hope you're doing well. All right. Maximum power consumption reached. Yes, I know. Thank you. Maximum power consumption. Y yes, reached. I know. Thank you. Good. Maximum power consumption reached. Oh my goodness. A workshop is actually a hundred supplies. A workshop construction Whatever. Initiated. It's gonna free up. Um, it's gonna free up engineers to do other things. So I think we'll focus on that. It, it'll also give us back some supplies when we dig this stuff out. 44 hours until uh, possible ambush. We really need it not to be an ambush at the moment. Our Fantastic. Did you know you've reached, reached maximum power consumption? I did. Alright. We're actually down to the dregs of covert actions already. That's what we get for upgrading this thing. Um, steel corpses sounds like a good idea to me. Recruit rebels, not as good. We're not doing the PCS because ambush chance is getting higher and I don't want it to be just two soldiers. Um, so I think we'll go for steel corpses. Hey, we did get a promotion just then. Uh, let's give you your grenades back as well. <laughs> Boosted cores, plus one damage for every grenade. It also works on damage over time, like with fire and gas. But we don't have those just yet. Um, not too excited about these on a Grenadier, so we'll hold on to the skill points. Uh, and let's actually give you some grenades, that might be a good idea. Not that we ran out last time, but also take some armor. If that was a different mission, it would have been very, very bad if we only had two grenades. Okay. Back to the strip. Oh, wait, we need to 
pick you up one of these. Steel corpses. Uh, I am the sky, Buvin, and tumbling. 27% failure, 40% ambush. Uh, I don't think we have the ability to give you some more armor. Four health is actually really disturbing to me. Let's make it six. If we have... That's why, that's why tumbling was immune to poison. I almost forgot about that. Uh, do we have the means to make New orders, Commander? nanoscale vest? We do. We got ten whole alloys, though. Oh, it's crystals, not alloys. So we don't need alloys at all for laser weapons. We just need crystals. Okay, then. Dad sacrificed the only I could also give you predator armor. And I won't let it be for nothing. She might be a little worse for wear right now, but with some new schematics and a little elbow grease, she'll I think be this the is fine for the moment. In the sky. I hope. Why can't you take a PCS? Oh, we don't have any. Okay. That's... Bond with tumbles? I don't see why not. Fantastic. The sky and satellite. That's perfect. Although I don't know about this yellow. It's kind of hard to look at. Alright. Resistance ring, steel corpses. Uh, sky, move in, and satellite. Already had one? You want a refund? Let me fix that real quick. Boovin, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I did do Zetius. I'll just double check that. Doesn't go by all sign, does it? Oh, there we go. Zedius. Yeah, Zedius is our very promising but low ranked gunner. Okay. Build faster. Uh, 200%. Let's go with this spy mission. Cheap say met and nameless squaddy specialist. We're trying to hack a vehicle. Extremely light, up to nine enemies. Uh, it'll probably be a fixed evac, I think. No, that'd be a VIP. If it's not a fixed evac and it's hacking a vehicle, I think that's going to be a lot harder. Well, we're about to find out. One five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. It is Be not advised. a fixed evac. Charges are in place we only have eight turns. This is a bit of a long shot. Um, but it looks like if we're very lucky, we can find somewhere for our hacker to hide until the last turn. Maybe not. Let's go have a look-see. Probably stay up above this, uh, this area here. Moving to designated coordinates. Because line of sight. I can get up here this turn with sheep say mare, but I don't think that is a very good idea. If we move up this way, something could come around from the corner and we'd be stuck. Uh, and we have to go fast. So which bad option do we want to go with? Probably get on the roof over this side, perhaps. Let's activate Ghostwalker already. 
And I want sheep say mare over here. And Good copy. our squaddy over here. Oh! Enemy sighted. Wow. That's rude. Thankfully, it's going exactly where we can ignore it. Uh, let's bring sheep up here. Freaking drones. And we've still got Ghost Walker. It should be safe to come up this way. Okay, that's great. We've got the roof to ourselves. Time to motor. As long as drone doesn't just randomly pop up here, we should be fine. Don't think I've seen this building before. Okay, sheep. Good Have a peek. On okay. Nope, there's a big hole in it. I was going to say that looks like it could be a really good hiding spot. What's our timer on the evac? Two turns, that's actually excellent. Because we completely over-infiltrated. Um, I'm a little scared of coming down here this turn. I'm a little scared of going almost anywhere, to be honest. Let's have a peek Copy over that. this way. Excellent. Uh, I think it's probably safe to Get bring hurt. sheep over here. Uh, we're going to need to get sheep to open the door before we do the hack. On my way. Didn't find any enemies yet, surprisingly. I don't think it's too likely, but something could come from over here. We're probably going to have line of sight to hack from, like, this spot. So yeah, this could be a good hiding spot. Let's see if we I'm can't right get a peek over here. I was going to see what I can hack the tower, but I don't think we'll worry about that this turn. Probably this is the safest way to do it. And sheep, I want you in blue movement range of the door. So probably here. There they are. I was about to say, we haven't seen much yet. Okay, that's ridiculously good. That's really, really bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Uh, Ghostwalker? We can actually do it. But can we get back away from the drone after this? I could shut the drone down, perhaps? 89%. Sketchy. But I don't think we're getting a better opportunity to open this door. And I can actually get sheep back just far enough to be really comfortable, uh, safe from the drone. Before I do move sheep there, let's just explore where we can get line of sight to the hack. Uh, pretty much everywhere. In fact, all the way back here, even. Okay, so we're going to put our evac right there. And... Hope there's nothing hiding over in this corner, which is pretty unlikely. Let's bring sheep back here first. Moving. Really, really unlikely that there's something over here. Okay, that's our spot. Evac, now! Evac in two turns. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. 
we should have a blue move to that from here. Probably use the ladder. And hunker down. So far, so good. Enemy on the move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That might even be the entire map. I don't like how close that drone is. One little bit, but it looks like it doesn't matter now. Well, it would matter, actually. Oh, I can hack it this turn, but the drone will probably see us. But these guys wouldn't, apparently. But yeah, we do have a blue move here. Um, I just want sheep to get back without getting spotted by drone. It's right here. You can't help but see where it is with the one tile that we can't move to. Um, I don't have Ghost Walker. I think this is going to be by far the safest Heading spot. And I do have line of sight on something, so I'm not going to throw a smoke bomb. Hey, that's me. Yes, indeed. Roger, holding. Doing very excellent work as a spy. Where's that drone going to go? That's the one thing I'm a bit more concerned about, because I don't want... I don't want to be spotted and enemy squad gets overwatch. That might be what's happening. Oh... <gasps> To go. Wait, what? Are we... We're one tile away from getting spotted by the drone, apparently. Nice. Okay, unfortunately I never even had a chance to see what we could get from this tower. If I had officers trained, I could use Sheep Say Mare to give an action to this squaddy. So we could hack both. Resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. Yeah, so that's the first shield bearer for the campaign. Uh, what would we have gotten from here? Video feed, 29% large intel cache. Well, that definitely would have been worth attempting if we could do it without a downside. Unfortunately, it's just going to be the objective and a flawless victory. Uh, alien alloys. We've only got like four, and we've got a lot of supplies. And I wouldn't go for this with the dice rolls, the chances anyway. But we would have got it. And, oh. you know what? Eliminate Have some smoke. And away we go. Fantastic. And that's how you get a win without committing a bunch of your combat troops. Operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. The squad made it back whole and the aliens paid the price. And our squaddy gets a promotion. Suppressor, light. We, we also get three basic attachments. Not too exciting, to be honest. Ten alloys I'll take. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Shut up, Central. Uh, Sheep say met. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I didn't say so in the moment. Uh, looks like we're going with a Hacker Medic for this one. That makes a lot of sense. With these stats. Cool. And we're back to the strategic map. Wait, can I... 
I'll be able to have exactly one officer training station. Once we finish the workshop, we'll have just enough power. That's going to be a big help. Alright. And we get... Alien Alloys, Illyrium Avenger Crystals. Shut up and take my flight time. Okay, we scan. We get permanent... Bonus dodge on enemies. Strategic resource located. Ten alloy, uh, eleven alloys, ten crystals. That's like two laser rifles or something, probably. Hello, commander. Uh, let's see. It's only one crystal. Wow. We ran out of Illyrium crystals, and we had all those supplies to gear up for the big mission, and we literally just needed like seven Illyrium crystals or something to gear everyone up. We noticed earlier That's on unfortunate. Has a tendency to dip forward when the... Okay. We're only 43% infiltrated on the big mission. Uh, I think at this point... Hmm. I'm not really looking for another mission for, like, a full squad, but more of those spy kind of missions would be good. But on the other hand, lots and lots of supplies. I've still got a lot of equipment to buy. Or build. Another important step forward in our research. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive. Needle rounds are actually pretty good. Is there another world out there filled with these shape shifting creatures, or are they merely another construct of alien genetic? We need three drone mechs, uh, tr drone wrecks to get this research. Um, we also don't have enough scientists for some of these projects. We're going to have way more than three drone wrecks after the invasion, if it's successful. The attack the HQ. Uh, 128 intel or like 140 isn't going to make a difference right now. Let's get the beast autopsy done. The and we scan for more intel. And we didn't get a chance to stop the major breakthrough even after I spent five intel on it. Okay, so that's a little chunk out of our time limit for the entire campaign just gone. You, now, you have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month. Commander. We still haven't seen that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. If there's one thing the elders bless me with, it's patience. In this case, things are already moving faster than I had expected. Okay. Uh, I think we still haven't seen a Chosen this playthrough, and I'm definitely not complaining about that. Maybe I should even take steps to make sure we don't see one... ...until after the big mission. If we get a Haven attacked soon, it's gonna be very, very bad. It's just these two regions. I think I'll just put them into hiding. I can't remember how it works exactly, but I think skipping that mission isn't as bad as you might think. Avenger plotting new course. Just until we have our hotshot soldiers back. Thanks, Commander. And a the large number of just... them. Alright, we got the workshop. We put the engineer in the workshop. We get plus two gremlins. I'm gonna put those permanently in here, I think. And now we can do the 
off as a training station? Yes, I know, thank you. Yes. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. Uh, so first, I think we'll do sheep here, since we literally just had a moment where having a command would have been very, very helpful. Uh, I've tried using Oscar Mike, and I can just never find a moment where it's actually helpful. You have to spend an action to movement buff everyone around you. Um by not that much, to be honest. Focus fire... I'm probably going to try and keep Sheep Seymour away from actual combat, but I'm just... I've tried it. I, I'm never able to get that other one to, to be useful. Pretty much. Um, even on a character that I'm always using to, like, extract a VIP on a stealth mission. Alright, which one should we open up next? We get 22 or 23 Illyrium crystals from either of these. We've got plenty of supplies, sort of, for the moment. Um, do I upgrade this? 40 supplies for... Yeah, why not? Workshop facility upgraded. We put our other engineer here, and then we get the equivalent of two engineers down here. And do we want like a, a maximum power consumption reached? Fantastic. We've got two bonds available. I don't want to bond the rookie. Sheep say met and that hacker is not a bad idea actually they'll get shorter infiltration times not to mention later on being able to give each other actions perfect okay 15 hours until hopefully no ambush um, I think it's time to move time forward again, and that's not good. Your attempts at subterfuge have failed, and this defeat will be a costly one. Will it, though? Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity okay, in this area. Who do we have? Forces will need to be especially vigilant. Uh, I need to get Haven advisors. Uh, let's see. Seen indicates the chosen aren't Shut going up, to stop Central. Us, Commander. Our only we, we've hardly seen anything yet. To do that, we'll need to work with the resistance on a covert action o in the ring. Okay, Central. Wait, we're literally just about to do the mission, the, the ambush mission, and the two milliseconds that we were in the strategic map without queuing up another resistance ring. He's yelling at us for that. Okay. Your attempts at subterfuge have failed, and this defeat will be a costly one. I'm more than a little concerned about this mission. Uh, we've got Mannequin. That's not too bad. Our best Grenadier. Sigma Bean for combat protocol and interference. And maybe even a little hacky hack. Should I spend some of your skill points? Plus 20 aim if something's at half health or less. This other stuff isn't going to be that useful. I mean, evasive is nice, but like... For a hacker... We're not going to get to rapid fire. Your aim is probably pretty bad as well if I put you on hacking. 70? That's not... That's not terrible. For a corporal. 
Um, and we need someone shooting. Uh, pro definitely our new gunner. Yeah, let's get... Let's see if we can get a... Laser cannon. We're going to be left with 60 supplies, one, uh, 29 alloys, and 10 crystals. It's fine. And... Uh, probably a good idea to get another Sten gun or two. Anything else I want to give Sigma? Maybe medkit? Or a grenade? We've got grenades. Um, I'm pretty sure we can't make a good sword. I could give you a scatter ray. Mobility's terrible, though. Okay. Let's get... Still don't have scopes. We do have Elite Expanded Magazine. Uh, that's pretty huge. Advanced Hair Trigger. And I guess Laser Sight. Um, it's good to have a bunch of... Sten guns, regardless. Ooh. What did we just run out of? Supplies. I think I am gonna give them all Sten guns. More damage than an assault rifle. Um, same crit. Slight. Uh, same crit. Uh, same clip size. And plus five aim if you ignore the short range. Uh, and these things stay relevant for kind of a while because if I'm going to give someone an SMG, I'm not going to be relying on them to shoot very often. Um, and the plus five aim is kind of nice if I just want to ping. Okay, let's give... Air trigger to you. Um, I don't think suppressor or laser sight is going to help anything, but whatever. And that's the squad. Uh, it might have been a good idea if I gave them some armor. But I think removing the threats are more important, regardless at this stage. We can get damn good ground, coup de gras. I don't think there's a way to use coup de gras with him alone. Hunter's instincts, plus two damage on a flank, and he's got good aim. That is not the worst idea. It's an awful lot of skill points for something that's a bit niche on just a grenadier. Iron curtain? It's really not a bad idea. Let's do it. Spread shot that can actually reach a bit further than normal sight range. Okay. So I'm really not worried about the people who are getting ambushed as much as the people that need to camp the evac with this one. It's not as well equipped as I would normally like, but it's probably going to be fine, actually. Operation Blessed Grin. Oh, and we brought a grenadier to... Ruins, which uh, isn't as bad as an uh, as bad of an idea as you'd think. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction. Got an officer to double. deal with. Oh, lovely. They got eyes on me. 
Yeah, again with the instant spotting. So when we use grenades, we're going to attract zombies, basically. But the zombies... The zombies are on their own side. They're not on advent side. It can actually be very helpful. The drone came in slicing range of both of these guys. Um, well, I definitely want to do a slice on both enemies with I Am The Sky. Unfortunately, we have absolutely no aim bonus from Lone Wolf because everyone's right next to each other for some reason. And Officer gets a big scratch. Could the camera not fly away? Thank you. Alright, let's do... Flank shot on officer, so we can shoot twice if we need to. Fantastic. Uh, and I just realized Tumbles doesn't have the damage to kill a drone. And now I don't have line of sight on the drone. Um, I'm not going to waste grapple. Well... Oh, I could use this. Except it'll bring the lost. It might be the way to go regardless. Because I don't want to get stunned back here. It's a long way to go. Okay. Do not blow up tumbles. I hear zombie hounds. Oh, it's dead. Alright. Let's hopefully not find any more enemies up this way. And it should be safe. Well, what's our terrain? doesn't look like... no, this is not going to be the kind of map where we can just stay in the buildings. Uh, we can for a while, though. Yeah, I think we'll head over this way. Can't see... Should be able to go this far without spotting anything. There we go. Now, we move Mannequin forward. Uh, try to get line of sight on any enemies. So that we know where we can move everyone else. We find nothing. And... We begin to camp. The only question is whether it's worth trying to get forward to get this height advantage. I think we do, but Let's not this do turn. Got it covered. Of course. And Sigma Bean just right, over here, go. please. Alien. Come out to play. We see nothing. Mannequin, please take a look over here. Oh. Steer clear of those berserkers. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. That's a bit of a problem. Mostly just because it has 25 hit points. Hmm. Alright. I could actually get our gunner to have line of sight right next to where they are a good overwatch shot probably next turn. Uh, there's a decent chance that just misses, though. They have a gunner and a drone. Oh, we could try hacking the drone. Sigma beam. Fantastic. We can either delete drone like this, but it'll wake up those two. Uh, or we can try 53% chance 
chance to take over drone while they have no line of sight on us. If it fails, drone gains defense and mobility, I think. And we can still just delete it next turn. Target's aim and defense. That's not going to matter. All right. Uh, before I do, let's take it. I think we put our gunner into Overwatch, just out of sight, now. and that's not where I wanted to go. Uh, we don't want an Overwatch here, and our Shinobi would get spotted. I don't think I would want our shinobi to go in. So let's move Monikin to where he can see them all, but won't get flanked. Okay, Sigma Bean, if you please. Haywire's a go. Turn drone into our drone and waste a couple of actions by the enemy. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Rolled a hundred. Very, very nice. It's our drone now, and it's dead this turn, probably. Seven damage, it's a start. Pretty sure enraged just means it has more mobility. Uh, I don't have anything I can use to check right now. Uh, and I don't think we want to grenade this turn. Or even if we did, I don't think I could get in range. Getting crazy now. Alright, on the other side of the map. Uh, we have no scouts. We're gonna try and stay hidden. And it's usually safe in here. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, that's not a good angle. Whatever. We can both move to the same spot. There we go. Oh, the drone survives. Or at least one action. Very good. Now we can't see the gunner, though, apparently. Oh, we can. Uh, kinda wish I had combatives on Mannequin. Could walk right up to that, um, Berserker and literally just parry its giant fists. But, alas, can we hit both of these guys? I don't think it's even possible if we get closer. Um, that makes no tactical sense at all. It will, however, attract the lost, which are just as likely. Oh, we can hit them both. Just as likely to attack them okay, as us, and we can deal with them. Your first lesson is to just grab the ball. Only two damage? Oh, that's perfect. And it even showed us where the mech is. I think it was a mech sectoid we just discovered that we shouldn't have been able to see. Uh, so these guys are going to activate and shoot the lost, wasting their actions and letting us know where they are. We got a 79%. On Berserker, I think we just take it. May as well reload. I could have moved up here, but there's no cover. Fantastic. And then 
I don't think we use our flesh yet. In fact, I'm sure we don't. Moving to designated coordinates. Let's get some eyes in this direction. That should be a cozy little spot. Let's see what's going on over here. Spotted? Are you joking? How? Bruh. That's not good. How much health are we looking at here? Five plus two. Oh, but those guys didn't actually see him. Otherwise they would have activated. Okay. Midden's probably fine, actually. Mannequin, rather. Alright, um, not sure what to do about this right now with just Sigma Bean. Probably nothing. It's better to get Sigma Bean up where he can get line of sight to hack, or we can't hack for a bit actually. Combat protocol on, on mech. Alright, tumbling satellite. Uh, I would love to get you to where you can rock it, but not be seen. That might work. Uh, vehicle might be in the way. If they see you, then these guys are going to come up here and flank you. We're not going to rock it this turn because rock it with only one action is abom abominably bad aim. Um, I also want your friends to be in a position to help you. So let's bring Boovim up here. And I am the sky. And check the line of sight from here. That's pretty much what we're looking for. Uh, and I may as well not actually fire rocket, but try and get a look at where we could fire rocket, theoretically. It's pretty bad over this direction. But I could just barely attempt to rocket the uh, berserker. But it's not really worth. Over here might be better, but well, it's actually the edge of the map. There's almost no chance there's something here. If this was just... oh, hello. I was gonna say, if this was one tile out of range for line of sight to this guy, that would be amazing, and that's exactly what we have over here. So let's do it. Okay. The lost attack everyone. Hopefully not. <laughs> Don't think they're in range to hit our shinobi. And they waste a whole turn on the berserker with just one lost. And the gunner flanks himself to our gunner because there's a zombie in his face. Very, very nice. How close do we want to go? Uh, maybe we should ask the rocket man. Oh, that's good. I mean, the supposed 2.36 tiles of spread, which is actually going to be like 7 million tiles of spread, is not as good. But it's not going to get better than this. Very nice shot, Tumbling. I... That actually exceeded my wildest expectations. The other thing that, it, that exceeds my expectations is the fact that we haven't even seen the mech insectoid do anything yet. I'm not sure whether to try to engage them this turn. 
Um, with line of sight, I'm honestly scared that just trying to creep away is going to find them. But I think this thing right here... Oh, I can see where they are. Yeah, okay. I think what we do is we slash. And then we hide in container. And there should be... Probably no way they can see us. Moving. Fantastic. Um, let's move these two up for Overwatch and for Line of Sight to do something next turn. Actually, split them Can up a little do. bit. I'm Get the heavy cover. I don't know if the mech can use its rockets as like a free reaction. I think it can. And then we've just got these clowns to deal with. Three to five and a slash. Nice and quiet. Uh, Buvim. Four damage and a slash. But... So double slash here, double slash here, probably. And we slash. Actually, if I flash, like, over here, no, it's the same damage. Fantastic. And the music's changed because nothing knows that we're here right now. Um, let's just move up this way I, I for next turn. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's not a sectoid, it's a trooper. Negative damage. Kind of Stay wasted fit. our over overwatch shots there. Are the, are the mech and trooper like just not gonna... Friends. not gonna do anything? As they're surrounded by zombies that ignore them for some reason? That would be great, except for the part where I don't think we can get out without saying hello to them. Nope. That's the edge of the map right there. So... I don't actually have line of sight on these guys. It's glitching that it's showing them to me. Hmm. I could grenade these to... Oh, wait, no. I don't have hacky hack. I need to be able to see the... The mech. I can't hack till next turn anyway. We can flash... Right, I keep forgetting, we can only see this one. Supposedly. Okay, I think we say hello with someone else and then Boovim can double shot this guy. Um, Boovim unfortunately doesn't yet have the kind of skills where zombies move into range and he just hits them. I could come over here for the flames. That might be a pretty good idea, actually. To start it. Not going to get a good angle with our gunner. Probably just overwatch with uh, Zetius. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure tumbling... Well, you've got Roust. You might be able to do something like from this angle. 
I'd like to get you closer to the evac than over here. And further away from the lost. Okay. I don't think we're going to get angle on the mech with our hacker. That's a problem. He went right behind the truck. Oh, it's a scout too, which means he's got defense. Uh, but yeah, I think... Well, if I put Vivim down here to get a flank... The cover actually sucks. Oh, this is okay. But then you're surrounded by Lost. And they've got... Reinforcements coming in next turn. Can't quite get my grenade over there. Probably can from here. We'll bring even more lost. What? Where? Which is not always a bad thing. Can't get a good angle. Probably just Overwatch with Doctor. Um, are we gonna flesh? Three to five, that's terrible. I think we're probably gonna end up trying to hack next turn. Which means I want our specialist over like this way, probably. I was going to put our gunner up here on Overwatch. I think that's actually pretty sensible. Tired of waiting around. We either hit the reinforcements or a zombie. Come out. Um, can we roust? Nope, slightly out of range. It may even be better to just run with tumbles. How far can Mech move? Just past the bin? So he can't get a flank. No, that's the scout. Mech can go past the tree. And can get a flank if I try to go here. Low cover, perhaps? Oh, or I could... If I hide behind the truck, Mech can go over the top of it. I could take heavy cover from here. That's actually safe. I don't think there's anything Tumble's going to accomplish from this position. Actually, does Roust force movement on the mech even if it doesn't damage it? I don't think so. Okay. Before I move Tumble's, we want to make decisions while we still have line of sight on these guys. Uh, Buvim is pretty tanky. Let's get you in there for the double sh uh, There's a lot over here, though. Hmm. You do have Grappling Hook. I Am the Sky does not have Grappling Hook. Could come this far, that's about it. This is actually very tricky. That mech really did go to the worst possible spot. Should I try rousting the mech? I don't see myself getting value out of it otherwise. It's actually a pretty tough turn. Okay. 
I could maybe get Iron Curtain over there to hit multiple Lust. Alright, let's uh, try it. Three shot on Scout. Please execute Scout. Fantastic. Need ammunition. Um, so this is all of the lost. One, two, three, four. I'm not as worried. I am the Scout. What if we both flash back? We could ping mech for up to f two damage. Make absolutely sure there's no way to get line of sight on mech. Hacker. There isn't. I think we just try pinging it. That's one. Uh, how far can the Lost move? About that far. Okay. Let's try hitting two of them. Can we even do that with Iron Curtain? Yeah, we can. It on thick. And we only hit the one that wasn't on one health. Okay, that just leaves our Shinobis. We can't deal enough damage to the mech. So I think... Can I just get out of range of the Lost? Yeah, pretty much. Except Boovim's going to take a couple of hits. What if we if ping the mech so. with I Am The Sky as well? 93, nice. And if I slice mech, we're, we're dead, basically. Uh, or mana kim is. If I slice anything else, we're exposed as well. I think we just move around and get in position for next turn. Stay out of range of zombies. Good copy. Moving on target. On Overwatch. Okay. Are they going to attack the mech? Miss Graze. Nice hit. Five damage. Okay. Good lost. Two bad losts. Missed. Nice. Reinforcements dropping in where exactly? Right on top of the mech. That simplifies things. That actually... I can't think of a better spot for us for them to drop in. And... Uh-oh. So we took a wound, I think. No? We only lost our armor. Very lucky. Uh, if we just run away, the Lost and Advent can play with each other. We're only one damage point off a guaranteed kill on the mech with our hacker, who is down here now. Sigma Beam, if you please. 
50-50 to execute mech. Fantastic. Probably just not going to worry about the loot. Otherwise they have to deal with Rocketeer, Trooper, and many lost. But on the other hand, uh, we really do have control of things now, more or less. We will. And I do not want to fall behind in the campaign. On the other, other hand, I don't want Uvim getting a wound for no reason. We do have a free reload. I can execute the Rocketeer. I think it's probably worth it. We've got two Fleshes. Execute Rocketeer. Tumbles is in range. I'm pretty sure we can do it. It's very important to be greedy enough, as well as not too greedy. Please don't min-roll this again. Are you kidding me? Okay, mannequin... probably... I might even leave the trooper up, because they'll probably play with the lost. I don't think another grenade is the way to go right now. Probably just execute this lost right here with Freeman. Uh, I'd love to get in position for an area suppression, but we're not going to get line of sight. Hmm. These two. Let's see what kind of flame tumbling can get. I can't get two of the lost, but it's probably fine. Let's not burn up every tile where we want to pick up the loot. Okay. Why did he move? It Also, he's burning, but it didn't say he's burning. Okay. Two down. Fantastic. Uh, let's go flesh that heavy rocketeer. Could have just done that in the first place. Vivim's actions accounted, uh, added up to nothing. Uh, and we actually only have one more enemy to deal with. That was easier than I thought it would be. Oh, there's that one back there, but that's that's a foregone conclusion. And we'll have a few turns before uh, reinforcements show up as well. As long as no one burns to death, uh, we should be fine. Fantastic. Uh, and the combat music is only continuing because there's one Don't burning enemy idea. left. Oh, hold on. Let me reload. Fantastic. They're actually vulnerable to fire. Good to know. Is that why it didn't say that he was burning, but he started burning anyway? Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. I can probably get a higher value grapple next turn. Mannequin over this way, please. Okay, move, move, move. Beam, get back to the evac. Got it covered. Everyone else, same thing. I'm all over it. Make sure you pick up the loot on I'm the way. You here. Pretty good hey, positioning for that. For anything, right? What? Reloaded. Uh, okay. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal. Mentally and physically. I mean, that couldn't have happened at a better time, honestly. Okay, je bouge. Obsessive reloader after everything's dead. More lost are coming, but I'm really not worried. Then we're all in agreement. I'm ready. 
I'm ready. Let's just get you. I actually need a reload here. Ready to go. Come get some. As long as they're in range to escape next turn, it's fine. Finally. Overwatch. Mannequin sprint. Already there. Uh, I am the sky sprint beeline. Move him. Uh, how about a big grapple? Show me just how far you can grapple. That's more like it. And down here. Maybe I should have put on Overwatch. Probably. Affirmative. That's probably not going to be a threat. I don't think our promising gunner has hit a single shot with the gun. Now you sit there and think about what you've done. I didn't think we even could do six damage with a Sten gun. Three to six. Yeah, there it is. All right, get let's done. get out of here. If it was just the reinforcements coming, maybe I would put everyone on Overwatch. Maybe get a little chunk of XP. But who knows what would happen. Beautiful. Oh, wait, there's one more. Zetius. Get out of here. With your zero percent accuracy. Oh no, wait, you did good damage to the uh berserker actually. It was after that. Fantastic. It's a flawless. Even when we got an ambush that we really didn't want. Today is a minor footnote in history. A small bump on the path of salvation the elders have set forth for us. Aliens sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. And we get a promotion on our new gunner. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. Okay, just double notify me so I don't even get to see what that was. We got two promotions at least. Is, we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should give them a try. Okay. Vivim. You are gonna be doing chain shot now. So you can actually do three shots at something after you move right up next to it. Assuming you don't miss the second one. But negative 10 aim at point blank is usually irrelevant. Especially with this weapon. Uh, you've also got some AP to spare. And I think we'll definitely go with grazing attacks. So every time you miss, there's a 50% chance to do at least a little bit of damage. That's actually huge. Much consistency, especially on a class that gets to shoot multiple times per turn. Um, we could get more right now, but I'd rather save the bed full of XP or AP. Zetius uh, is going to go combatives. Oh yeah, definitely. If we're going for lightning slash, we definitely want combatives. Um, and I'll hold on to the AP for now. Nice. Alright, are we getting close to infiltrating 10 days? That's not very close at all. Uh, so ambush chance has gone back down to the minimum. 
obtain resistance mech sounds very, very good. Ability points would also be nice. But... Oh, enemy corpses. What time of the month is it? 15th. I don't remember when it resets. I definitely want a mech. Um, let's put... Probably Boovim and I Am The Sky on that. Nine percent fail seems good. Oh wait, do can I give Boovim a better gun? Hey, Commander. Nope, we have no supplies. Tygen seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of I don't have gather supplies, do I? Was nope. Removed. Okay. I am the sky. And away we go. My client will do whatever is needed. Uh, and we were actually in the middle of picking Avengers up supplies. New okay. for the Arctic. Uh, so there's nothing else going on, otherwise I would definitely boost this infiltration. Maybe I should anyway before... Yeah, strength has gone up. I think we want to do this as soon as possible. 37 to 39 enemies. That's uh, at least 7. of this research can only further our advances commander. sustaining sphere deletes itself I think only be used in combat once and will permanently be removed yeah so it takes a whole inventory slot and movement speed uh, one movement speed and it destroys itself stun lancer autopsy we absolutely want to do that but let me just Working double check clinics, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the aliens arrived. We've only got one. The elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. It's a powerful, powerful thing the aliens have developed. Perhaps their most insidious creation of all. For my part in it, I remain deeply conflicted. New orders, Commander? What can I do for you, Commander? So we're not going to be able, we're, we're going to unlock the sword and then we're not going to be able to make the sword. On the other hand, uh, we're just about to do the big HQ mission, so yeah, there's going to be plenty actually. The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, Recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Okay. And we wait. Have I put everyone in havens? I have not. Um, I want to avoid possible chosen retaliation ones. Let's go here. And down here as well. Wait, that's it, is it? No. Up here as well. We can at least recruit in the meantime. Okay. We gain intel. Come to think of it, I haven't been to the black market and we've got 233 supplies. Let's see what you got. Maybe an engineer? 123 supplies for an engineer isn't too 
bad. Uh, PCS combat awareness is a gimme. It's only 15 supplies and it's very good. Advanced scope, I would, but the price is ridiculous. Is there PvP in XCOM? Uh, I don't believe so. Not to my knowledge. Not this version of the game, anyway. Another depth perception? I'll definitely be wanting that. And... We're actually too short on scientists to do certain research. So as much as it hurts, uh, I think I kind of have to buy this scientist. We're not selling alloys, we're not selling crystals. That's not a thing. Okay, I hate it, but we're buying a scientist. And we're back down to only 51 supplies. Uh, we're actually ready to launch this now if we're prepared to fight about 35 enemies. We've got 10 people, mostly our best soldiers, not as well equipped as I would like. But waiting is also bad, kind of. And we get more material if we kill more of them. Uh, this is one of those decisions that could make or break a campaign. Do we go in now or not? I think we do. The enemy could get stronger while we wait as well, even though it's not that long. Okay. This is it. The enemy HQ. Thirty-four to thirty-six enemies. And one of them is particularly nasty. Come to think of it, I wish I'd brought a um, stunner. An assault with the stun gun spec. Menace one five. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all, right. all hostile contacts. Um we really want to get up on... Oh, I see turret. Am I supposed to see turret? I don't think I'm supposed to see turret. I knew there would be turrets here, but that's a bit hacky. Um, we're going to hope we can get some height advantage set up on this first building. But... We want to be very, very careful while we look around and find out. This might be even better, potentially, at least at first. Heading out. So far, we see nothing. Watch my back. Is there a world where I want to go to the right side instead? Probably not. I don't see myself wanting to set up. On this building next to the turret. Um, it's in a terrible position to shoot at us later on, so I might just ignore it. We still get full salvage on it. Double time. Although I can't remember if we'd have to come back to kill the turret if I do that. Let's not take any chances. It's a very important, a very dangerous mission. Double time. Everyone... I doubt we could find a drone here at this point, but... Good to go. No risks. We'll 
that we don't have to take. Zenetics, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, Stardust, back here. Morpheus, also back here. And we see nothing, I imagine. Quite a few enemy squads to simulate right now. Let's have Hang a peek up. over here. Can't actually go over there, can I? But I'm liking the line of sight from this elevation On the move. in that general direction. Let's get someone with a Sten gun. I want to be careful about every possible place enemies can pop out and ruin our stealth, especially on our Shinobi. Got it covered. Moving out. Yeah, let's just take our time. Let's do this. It is more than a little alarming how basic our equipment is still. Rolling out. Got it. And get our sharpies up behind here. Ten four. There's something out there. Affirmative. Eyes on the prize. don't hear anything that gives me information. Uh, let's have a peek. Over this way. I shouldn't even use Midden for scouting, to be honest. The one person who can hold on to stealth if we get seen. Not at this stage. I think I might end up going up the left side as far as I can, rather than the usual. Usually I like to camp uh, this sort of spot. Depends on where the turrets are as well. There's a chance there's a turret like right here and we climb up the ladder and just get spotted. Um, I should probably, in that case, bring Larius over this way, with his x-ray vision. Forgot how that's a thing. Um, and it should be safe to bring Midden all the way up here, but I want to be extra careful. Still haven't seen anything other than a turret. Not a copy. Affirmative. Dashing. All right, let's get our sharpshooters. Oh, you still can't reach that. Okay. Shh. That's Shmoa. Grenadier. No need to ask twice. Dog dog with the hacking. Okay, Morpheus, how about you get started setting yourself up over here? Twice. You guys don't even have uh, Lone Wolf yet, so you may Let's as well put this. you right next to each other. I and don't know we find... Nothing. Still nothing. Okay. Let's have a peek over here oh, with Larius. There's actually no turrets up here, but this building is making the line of sight from this sniper nest a lot less useful. 
Oh, it's not that bad. Let's have a peek up here. You. There we go. We're gonna want, if we can, to ambush on the biggest pod possible. So definitely not this. Um, preferably with a flamethrower, but that is pushing it. We got double flanky snake, regular snake, and stun lancer. They all have pretty reasonable amounts of health at least. Um, I definitely don't want to get caught. I don't know where the best place to attempt an ambush would be at this point. We do have a grenadier with uh, boosted cores and needle grenades. It's like plus two damage on the grins. Minimum, at least. Um, but yeah, for our sharpies, I think we'll just be steady weaponing for a while. Where's our Grenadier? I'm thinking... Actually, Burp Dog's probably as good as anyone for scouting. Ten four. With the SMG. There's our Flamethrower. Rorosaur? It's a bit risky if I put him up here already. That really isn't enough to ambush on. Especially because we wouldn't get reaction fire on half of them. But if I push too far past them, it's not necessarily very good. I should probably get our sharpshooters to try and come up here. But that could potentially be bad if something comes over this way not long after we ambush. Okay. I think, honestly, we should just wait a bit and see what happens. About I here. That location. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Scanning. Come get some. Shmua. Up here, I guess. We'll do. And steady weapon on our sharpshooters. We actually lost line of sight from there. And then, okay, Hilarious, have a peek over this me. way, there's that turret again, should be safe to have a look down here. Potentially I could get the whole squad up here. I could get kind of surrounded though. But it's looking more and more like it's actually not a bad idea to get people on this roof before we get started. Biggest problem there is our very slow sharpshooters. Running. Get over there. Stepping off. Oh, and we found another turret. Uh, I think we'll just wait here for now. And... Rorosaur. Definitely want you up there. Jakubek. 
probably as well. Slowder. Don't get there yet. This should be fine. Midden, stay out here scouting right. carefully. Um, dip dog back in this general direction. Shmua, same thing. Or I could even put some of them. No, they don't have line of sight down there. I think there's nothing on this. Oh, there is. No, there's a empty space on the second floor. On the move. Okay. Uh, Rodriguez can actually Double get up there. Got it covered. And that should be fine for now. I'm on it. Overwatch. Okay, Larius, take a peek in this direction with your x-ray vision. We find... I, I think it was a flamethrower, berserker, and probably something pretty basic. Um, we're not going to have a good angle to attack that unless it comes over here, and we don't want to wake up the turrets. Could also probably park Larius over here to have a peek this way. I don't think it's possible for something to be close enough that he'd get stuck. Midden, have a peek over here. Fantastic. At this rate, I almost feel like I could sneak all the way to the uh, the general's quarters. It is kind of weird how little we've found so far. Don't see anything through that. Um, Rorosaur, where are you? I might actually want you down here. So you could flame something. But then you'd have to get back in position to shoot things. This thing is probably going to wreck our plans if we want lots and lots of height advantage for the initial ambush. So I think maybe it's too greedy to put the sharpshooters up here and move forward. The berserkers are going to come get them from behind, probably. Let's keep looking over this general direction. Don't want to go too far with the mid on the Confirmed. Rodriguez isn't really a shooter. Let's come down Solid here for now. Copy. Morpheus and Stardust get up here. Eyes on the prize. Overwatching. Double time. And we wait. I'm all over it. I hear big steps. I don't see anything else. What? Oh, there they are. So it is indeed just a regular trooper with these two. Um, that's like another example of the last pod that I want to ambush. We need to find a big one. We 
we still see nothing. Hmm. Technically, they could come up this ladder, but... Uh, not this turn. Be okay. We'll do the steady weapon last. Maybe we should just wait a bit. Uh, should probably take a bit more of a peek with Larius, though. As you order, Commander. Wow, it is desolate in this direction. Oh, no, that's the same, same lot from before. So we've seen like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, a bit less than a third of all the enemies on the map. That might even be the headquarters up there. I don't know. How big is this map? Uh, pretty big. It, it might be, though. It's like a 50-50 that that's the final headquarters. Okay. Uh, let's position ourselves just in case... And take our time scouting over this way. Overwatch. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Um, midden, you can probably stay there. Uh, this should be safe. Snakes are coming back. Uh, that lack of line of sight concerns me a little bit. Actually, we'll probably get the... We'll probably get the x-ray vision on them again when the turn ends. Yeah, there we go. We can walk out of this easily. On my way. Let's see what we can learn. Uh, I think this is not the boss room, but the building next to the boss room. Which might be as good a place as any, if we have the patience to get set up there. Considering the terrain everywhere else, I think I like that quite a lot, actually. Um, so let's get everyone over Money. this way. Very, very careful-like. Got it. Dashing. Including our very slow snipers. No need to ask twice. Especially our very slow snipers. Time to motor. Getting it done. And then get somewhere nice and safe ish over here. Midden, get in this Watch crazy little spot. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. 
Okay. Is this modded XCOM 2? Yes. Uh, it's Long War of the Chosen. Mark to thumb? Welcome, welcome. Oh, ma marked at home, I guess. Welcome, hope you're doing well. Um, I would feel a lot better scouting this building with our Reaper. As opposed to our Shinobi. Marked at home. Okay, then. But we can at least have a peek like this. We see absolutely nothing. I'm a little scared to push up to here, though. How close can I get my Reaper? On this turn, I think this is about as sensible as we can be. Let's move everyone else up this way also. Got it covered. But not so aggressively that something might jump out at us and ruin everything. Warriors confirmed on the move. Beat feet. Let's get our snipers back here, I guess. Then over here, it. over here, Will do. Uh, I, I guess I could leave them out in the open if we go this way. Should be safe, but why risk it? Just to save like one turn. Double time. Rolling out. All right, midden. Uh, how about you? How about you come back? I'll just stay here, Close actually. Target position now. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Okay. okay. Snake is going to go back where we first saw them. And Larius, if you please. I will reposition. See what your senses can sense. Apparently nothing. There could be turrets up here. But we should already know they're here, though. Let's do it this way. Okay, midden. Up to the door. Have a look inside. I think enemies can come through that door, so we want to be a bit careful. Should be safe to come in here. Here? I could imagine a drone smashing through that window, though. Alright. On the move. We still see nothing. And we like. Dope dog. Up to here. Roger that. Rodriguez. Dashing. Dashing. Go, go, go. Rorosaur. Location confirmed. Jakubek. Location confirmed. Snipers. Very, very slow snipers. Uh, snakes went back here, so get it. maybe get a bit more greedy. Roger that. And that just leaves Midden. I think we'll just have Midden sit here for a sec. I think I heard something over this way. Footsteps. Alright, let's have a peek up here. And perhaps 
I would go there, but that railing doesn't count as cover. Therefore, something down here could see us. So, we'll just go over this way. Looks like this building is ours. And it is a very cozy spot to get started, I must say. And we just need to find a good ambush. Um, should be fine to bring Midden up here. We see nothing. Still. That right there is probably the boss room. I think. Alright, Rorosaur, or whoever's got a bit more mobility, perhaps. Good to go. Chuck Beck, Shmua. I'm all over it. Move, move, move. Sloda, up here. Time to motor. Double time. And that just leaves our snipers. Again, where's the nearest ladder? I don't want to force them to go this way. Something could maybe come over from here. So, Rolling out. like this. And that should be safe. Go, go, go. Got it covered. Roger, I've got my eyes on it. It is very unusual to be able to sneak this far in. Um, it helps to have the... the Reaper. You can see through walls, obviously. But even so, I should have seen, like, 20 enemies by now, not 10 or so. Volk says I am to obey. And we still see nothing? This is bizarre. Really, really bizarre. That's the edge of the map back there. Alright. Um, let's get eyes on it so we can be absolutely sure that we've got a corner behind us with no enemies. The shape of this building in the corner of the map, it's actually just perfect. Although the bits of missing cover are not so helpful, but it's a much more luxuriously spacious roof than the rest of them. Let's have a peek over here. We find something. It's just a turret. Turrets are like a third of everything we've seen so far, almost. Rolling. I wonder what the chance to hack it is. Not very good. Okay. Let's get our sharpies up. Moving out. Moving half the reason that we're looking for such a cozy nest. So, go, go, go. Uh, Jakubek gets better aim if he sits still. So okay. bear in mind. Come on. We'll just stay here for the moment. Ten four. And that just leaves Dope Dog. Understood. Moving out. I don't I think the crying. boss. Uh, patrols around at all. Or, I think he only patrols around like inside his building, so you're never going to get an ambush on him. Hey, Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's have a peek over here me. with Hilarious. We still see nothing? Yeah, I'm 90. 7,000% sure that right there is the boss fight room. 
Uh, I am trusting you. I don't think we're going to get a very good ambush. Good, how about yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks for asking. I think we're just going to have to accept a very mediocre ambush and try and pick everything off um, from as safe a distance as possible. Speaking of which, I'm not entirely sure... Okay, I am pretty sure where to put our snipers. Moving. It's these this corner right here with the other shooters just ahead of them. Let's put Morpheus at the corner. Stardust pretty close. Like, uh... I wish I could see what the line of sight would look like. If not for that thing. Stardust probably about here. We're not gonna take an aim shot next time. Uh, Jack Quebec. Probably behind the heavy cover, since I don't want you moving like ever. Shmoo has got a uh, low profile, so all cover counts as heavy cover. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Moving to Overwatch. That seems good. On my way. Overwatch. That's probably totally unnecessary. Jakubek has bonus defense as well as armor on Overwatch. Moving to designated coordinates. Affirmative. Covering now. And that pretty much just leaves. Oh, dog. Pancake. Get your butt up beat, here. Beat. And this is probably fine. Target location. Roger. Got my eyes on. Midden. I kind of want you to take a peek over here. Even if it's slightly risky. How? How have we still not seen them? I this do not confirmed. understand. I didn't notice that door was open. Don't blame me for my bad eyesight? Wow, okay. Um, I over here? Position. Still nothing? Is that double cover? It is not. This is As double cover. Order, I've we finally control. found them. Uh, can't actually see the boss right now. Oh, wow. I've never seen this before. Presumably, until you start a ruckus, they're all just standing around like this, f uh, facing the boss. Huh. If I... Hmm. Rorosaur? If Rorosaur just had that skill already where he can shoot a rocket past sight range. Well, no, I guess it doesn't matter. He could, theoretically. No. If Rorosaur could shoot a rocket past sight range, we could get a ridiculously good opening here. I'm gonna bet that these guys don't move around at all. Do we have a door back here? We do not. There's one. It's pretty risky. But if they really don't move around at all, I could actually sneak everyone in there. We'll consider it. Uh, in the meantime, let's try and get a bit more information. Scanning. Watch 
shape. Roger. Got my eyes on. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be moving. What is that, 25 and 2 armor on the boss? That's not that bad. Um, let's just wait here a few turns and see if they move. I see. Overwatch. Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Come get some. Overwatch. I don't think they're going to be moving. And I bet the patrol paths aren't going to come back here either, except for Snake sometimes coming through here. So... Why don't we start moving into position? Moving out. Let's get Midden up here. Double time. And Aurora Sword. Don't smash a window. That would be very, very bad. On it. Time to move. Got a copy. I won. Affirmative. Running. Location confirmed. And Rosa, please do not smash window. Got it, move it. Larius. Uh, probably. What's the safest? I don't think there is a safe place to park over here if something's going to patrol around this way, but that's actually the edge of the map. I don't think there is going to be anything. The peacekeepers come to fight! Wow. Really? I'm on it. Affirmative. Covering now. Wow. That's how it happens, huh? He's gonna get stunned. That is absurd. Why would they be, like, literally on the edge of the map? Literally two tiles from the edge. And at least we can see where these guys are and avoid activating them just yet. I... This, this could scarcely be much more of a disaster, but, I mean, if it was anyone but Midden who had line of sight on these guys, it would, it would be very, very, very bad. I, w I don't want to say it would all be over already, but I mean, look at this. No one is in position. Okay. I could just... I've only got one specialist, don't I? I could pop a uh, combat protocol to kill one of the drones. This guy's probably going to shoot next turn. I can't snipe because we don't have line of sight. We don't have snapshot and it's probably too far anyway. I can run some uh, ever vigilant people over here to shoot at that. Sound is going to activate these guys next turn. Not much I can do about it. No need to ask twice. 
Let's try and get Rorosaur in a position to mess them up next turn. Let's open this door so it doesn't make noise. So, if they wake up, they probably run in this general direction. I don't think we can get a good angle through there. Not anytime soon. How did we not see them before we moved, anyway? We were standing, like, here. They were in literally the perfect spot. To not get seen. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. That's a bug. Right? I'm seriously considering reload because... Look at that visual range. Yeah, we should have been able to see them with the with the X-ray vision from uh, Larius. I'm gonna check. It's not like I, I want to make sure it's not like Bruins are immune. Uh, X. What's it called? Um, one war of the chosen Bruins. It's probably going to be hard to look up. Have we ever seen a drone with the x-ray vision? I'm pretty sure we have. I, I think I would have noticed by now before getting to the... Before getting to the HQ fight that drones are immune to this x-ray vision thing. see. Drone. What is it even called? Uh, let me look up Reaper first. See the exact... What the heck is this? Alien Terror Unit? That's not Long War of the Chosen. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, the site thing is called. The passive. I don't think it's listed here. What does the skill description say? I'm trying to find it. You detect nearby units even without line of sight. Okay, it's called tracking. Uh, how do we end up at the different... Okay, Long War of the Chosen. Oh, it's not the Long War of the Chosen wiki. Still, I think I would have... Be... <laughs> if I'd known... If that is a thing and I'd known that, I would have behaved very differently. With that last move. No, it's the same wiki. Several important changes from Long War 2, you don't say. Oh, here we go, Reaper. Tracking. You can detect units even without line of sight. It doesn't. It doesn't have any caveats. It doesn't have any asterisks next to that. So we absolutely should have been able to see them. Right. I'm not throwing the entire campaign for a mechanic that was never explained and is probably a bug. 
It says 14 tiles on what you can see. Yeah. Well, we could see them from here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's where they were. I think it was a bug. I'm gonna... If we decide it wasn't, I'm gonna save this. Go back one turn. I think it's something like... Uh, like how you don't see the... Um, on the alien turns, sometimes you don't see the enemies through the walls until their turn ends. I think it was a graphical glitch. We've seen more than a few of them. If we see them the moment I load the save, we know it was definitely a bug. It's a very big map to load. Good gravy, that takes a while to load. Protect our flanks! 